This park, this park, this park, this park. What's happening? Uh, the <laughs> microphone check, one, two, what is this? The JBP Boys Bike to Business 405. Welcome to episode 405 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. By now, you know the vibes. My good brother, Maul, is here. Yo, yo, I'm is here, that, I'm here. That's a Griselda hoodie? Yeah, this is uh, Armani Caesar. The Liz. Tough, tough, tough. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, my guy Parks is here. How you feeling, Parks? I'm feeling well. How are you? I'm real good. Real good. Glad yeah. you could join us today. My guy E-Rab on the boards. How you doing? You good over there? You good? Uh, Savon the Don is here. Corey is here. And Alex the Great is here. Gentlemen, how we feeling? What's the vibes? <sighs> What's 20, the vibes first 20, week of 2021? Let's yeah. get let's 2021. Let's get right, let's get right to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, I see, I I fight that. I, I still disagree. I don't think this is the deluxe version yet. What the fuck is that? Rory, why do I have to hear you swallowing on the microphone? Pause. We can hear that. Why? Nice. We're erasing that. Um, where's that? Let's get right to it. I'm resisting that. I'm I'm not saying that this is the deluxe. This I is, think this is like what is called in, in Indian summer when summer's over, but it's like still hot and like that could potentially be racist. So I don't know if we should say it like that. That sounds racist. <laughs> is that racist? <laughs> it might be. I, I don't think, know. Man. We don't even know what to know. say anymore. Everything is racist now. God damn. Man. Well, no, because yeah, they told me I grew up. Uh, they taught me growing up that when you say crisscross applesauce, it's called Indian style. Mm -hmm. And then that later I had to teach me that that might indeed be racist. Okay. Well, th this is the deluxe, you say? The deluxe. Is that politically correct? I, so far. So, so far? far. All right. So this is the 2020 deluxe right here. What has the week done to y'all? What has the first week of 2021 done to any of you? Um, Honestly, it just it, it, it's preparing me for a, a another long year, mm -hmm. honestly. Like just looking at this, I'm like, okay, we, it's a new year as far as the month, but I, it's a lot of remnants left over from last year that I think we're gonna deal with at least until halfway through this year. Wait, before we just dive right in and tackle some of this stuff, uh, I want to shout out to uh, Cash App, that app that empowers us, inspires us, enables us, empowers us, tolerates us, deals with us. Deals with our shit. Shout out to the greatest app in the world, Cash Keeps App. Keeps the hussies comfortable. You already know, but... That too. The hussies love when they, when they get that little alert. Ooh. They love sending a request, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in case you forgot, just, you know, a reminder. I, I pound on the yeah. decline. <laughs> <laughs> with emphasis. I impact the decline. Why are you requesting? That's against the rule. Um, so, yeah, we shouted out Cash App. I want to shout out to our first and last time listeners. Uh, shout out to our day one listeners. Uh, shout out to everybody else that might be listening out there, wherever you're from all over the world. We welcome you. This is a safe, unsafe space. Uh, I also want to tell a quick story, something I noticed last week, because the week was jam-packed with shit, if you guys don't mind, before we get into the sure. meat, and, meat and potato of things. Uh, I love a story. Last week at the pod, uh, last week at the pod, I got up for a bathroom break. Mm -hmm. um, before I went in the bathroom just to occupy some time, I took two darts off the board. Mm -hmm. And I threw one. Yeah. I threw one and it hit the ceiling somewhere, the wall, mm -hmm. off the board. Mm -hmm. I then threw the second one. It was a direct bullseye immediately. Never seen such velocity. Mm -hmm. All of you didn't stop what you were doing. You just continued to talk and casually have conversations, eat chips, mm -hmm. eat food, like text. And you know what it said to me? We don't appreciate your biggest accomplishment. <laughs> Like y'all, y'all have been around my greatness for so long. You're unfazed. Mm. Mm. Okay, I see why you say that. Like y'all didn't even bat an no, eye. I still did. That's what's up. I know because he dare not touch it mm. with his white fingers. Yeah, no, it <laughs> looks good. It's sitting there. Yeah, proud of you. I'll leave it. Y'all didn't think y'all don't think about that. Y'all don't think that was odd. 
Like, no. taking myself out of that, I would have been blown away if somebody just, before <laughs> they, or they went to the bathroom, just, casually just threw a bullseye. Threw a bullseye. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. Not a, 2020. It's not that rare. It was 20, it's 2021, man. In the game no. of darts, you yeah, hit bullseyes. <laughs> Look at this big black felon. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I shot man shit. I bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is he? No. All right. Yeah. Hey, Rory. No, I still did though. That's, that's, a, that's a great shot. They're not impressed. It's fine. Rory's not impressed either. <laughs> I can't no, believe I that. It's great that you can play darts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't think we did an Say, audio what do you think about this? <laughs> no, I said, what do you think about this, nigga? Not my performance. Oh, what my performance. You, right, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was a performance. You're right. That was a performance. All right, don't worry about <laughs> no, it. It's a really dunk. quick show. <laughs> yeah, it's a quick show. Grand opening, grand closing to the bathroom. <laughs> I mean, when you bullseye on nah, you the know second what it was, dart. It was, yeah, it was so ca- The way you did it was so, it was just a casual to the bathroom type of thing. I was like, oh, that's what he do. Yeah, I, yeah. Did, I did it like money ain't a thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So why would you, come on, man. Act like you've been here before. That's oh, those are the good old days in rap when you could throw Jaguar in as the luxury car. <laughs> you still can. It's still, yeah, it's still no, a luxury car. No, it's a good car. No, you can't. Great car, actually. It is, but you cannot say Jaguar in today's hip hop as the luxury car. Why not? You're going to sound like Wiz when he said, no keys. Push to start. <laughs> Wiz, my Saturn, Damn. my Saturn pushes to start. Like this is not a luxury thing. Jaguar yeah. is dope. Like 2009 but, Mazda is push to start. Yeah, they're all great. Nah, Jaguars is. And a good I car. feel a way about that now. I feel a way that the, all of the family cars have all the luxury cars now. You need that though with nah, a family you, car. You're just you? getting luxury cars for the name now. They're all luxury. Yeah, yeah and I true. feel the way that the C class is now like 80 grand. It's a nice car, though. That's like when they... <laughs> no, it is. C-Class, yeah. See, even look at that. The new, even the, new the perception of a C-Class has changed. The new C-Class yeah. is nice, though. Look, a nice car. It is. The new C-Class? I, I saw, mean, a, I, I, saw I, I saw one of the nice AMG C-Classes ride by, and my head turned, and then I seen the back and read it was a C-Class. I felt like such a thought. I'm like, oh, my God. Well, <laughs> Why is a C-Class turning my head? It's still a nice car. It's a nice car. I mean, I wouldn't. That's more for the, a, a nice, nice young lady. You would buy one? No. For a girl? No, for a girl. Man. If I had a wife or something, a girlfriend, yeah, for sure. You answer everything like that. Can we stop that this I'm not year? buying that for just some girl I'm just smashing. But that's though. all of our answers. If I had a wife, then of course no, 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 I that would. Ain't, that ain't all of our answers. Well, if I had a wife, that I would do that, that for ain't, her. That ain't all of our answers. A lot of niggas is buying shit like that for girls they just met. Oh, I'm, that's what I'm trying to do, too. No, yeah, nah. See, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't do that. I that's keep trying me. to meet a girl to do that with. That ain't hard. What it's you not, mean you keep trying? No, it's hard. What you mean? Open your phone. It's open. It's probably Instagram. pretty easy to give a woman a Mercedes. Yeah, that's quick. You could just do that. No, she has to be tolerable. Damn, now I saw. Oh, like now a, you put. Oh, she oh, low. Oh, oh, go ahead. That, that'll never happen. What else she got to be? See, tolerable. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> yeah, keep going. You go in the right way. I'm at. Go ahead, only, keep going. only in a room full of men can you say she needs to be tolerable. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Why is that offensive? It's a it real though. It's, it's honest though. It's honest. You can't say that to the woman nowhere. Why not? You need to be tolerable. Yeah. Fam. I'm sure they say the same about us. Absolutely. They can. I'm sure I'm very intolerable sometimes. I think this is how I got stabbed. Saying some shit like that. <laughs> You're not tolerable. You know what? <laughs> you are intolerable. <laughs> Tolerate this. <laughs> look, what, look what you stabbed by a woman. What I'm just saying, yo, I just don't I just don't tolerate you. Look what gets you stabbed by a woman. Yeah. Just a simple, yeah, you're not very tolerable. Yeah, no. No, it's true. Hey, Scream, man, I didn't need you to pull up the word tolerable uh, to look it up for me, but it's fine. Uh, you can pull up what happened in Georgia. That's how the week started. Yeah. See, before all of this all of this madness, at, uh, I think that was the day we were recording or just finished recording. It was. Mm-hmm. Right? That's why we didn't touch that. The vote was Tuesday, and then the results came in, what, well, super late Tuesday. Well, depending on how you view things. Mm-hmm. Uh, four o'clock in the morning is Tuesday still to me. Got it. Got it. Okay. We had to get a sound check on Roy. Roy, let's get a real, a real clear damn daddy. Like just to make sure your sound is good. Say damn daddy. That's real how we do clear. it professionally, yeah. Or zaddy. No. Yeah, you can say no, zaddy. You old, you old horny toad. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's a toad. He's definitely a horny toad. All right. So let's get right to it. Uh, as soon as we left the podcast, Georgia won. And mm-hmm. I saw a mad Bob Ross memes painting George, Georgia blue. Oh, I didn't rest see those. Oh, I love that. Rest in peace the to legend. one of the greatest ever. Oh, and rest in peace to Tommy Lasorda. Damn, Tommy Lasorda passed? Yes. Tommy Lasorda passed. 
Rest in peace. The legend. The legend, absolutely. The icon. Fucking man. How did Tommy Lasorda pass? Do we know? We never know immediately because they never tell us, right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Buddy. And that's out of respect. It sh- I don't it know. I wouldn't way. want people telling people my business immediately after I go. Tommy Lasorda, the Fury heart, Hall of oh, Fame heart, manager heart who got it. Heart failure. How mm-hmm. old was uh, Tommy Lasorda? 93. Oh, wow. Go Tommy. Yeah. What a life. Full life. Rest in peace to Tommy, man. You give me 93 of them things, I'm dapping y'all up on the way out. Heard you. Especially the way he, I mean, he's a legend yeah. in, in, in baseball. So, you know, growing up, you, you knew who Tommy Lasorda was, even if he wasn't a baseball fan. Yeah. That's just a name that you heard growing up. It's time for baseball to lift the ban on uh, my guy. P. Rose? Come on, man. P. Rose? Come on. I think yeah. they're close to it. It's th- over, man. They, wasn't they it's over, man. on himself, too. Like, oh. who cares? Yeah, nobody cares about There's that There's been shit. so much bullshit with baseball. Like, you can let this one fly, man. And you can gamble on baseball now. Like, so I figure once that happens, it's like, what you are we talking You can gamble about? on sports. He was yeah. ahead of his time. Exactly. <laughs> he was a genius. <laughs> yeah. he, he was pushing the envelope. Yeah, y'all thought it was dope when, uh, what's the NBA ref that did it? Tim Donovan? Tim Donahue? Yeah. yeah. Whatever his name was. Y'all thought it was fly when he did it. Nah, the refs can't do it, man. Nah, the refs can't do it. <laughs> I think it's risky. No, the, it's smarter to do it as a ref, though, than as the coach of your team. Like, you don't know if your team's going to perform. Yeah, no. That's why you know, it's shady if a ref, yeah, more shady a, a if a ref, ref P. Rose does was it, betting on his team losing. Like, nah, we ain't got this one. <laughs> 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 I, I, I saw how that last practice yeah, went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm this, the only one hitting on this team right yeah, this, now. This is a hell. Why yeah. they hate it on that? Yeah. You know, if you can't respect that, your whole perspective is whack. All right, back to real <laughs> shit. Back to real shit. So Georgia was blue, which was a really big deal. And my dad called me, said he had the greatest day ever. And I said, yo, one day you're going to thank the young voters, man. Mm-hmm. The young voters show up. Like yeah. the memes well, go around. We stress what's important. I mean, they have. They have in, they these, have, in yeah. these last two elections. Yeah. So. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Historically, they have not. So I understand why your dad has probably been frustrated with young voters historically. Well, yeah, he was there for fucking slavery and segregation, all that stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, I understand why he feels away. Sure. Yeah. Speaking of, actually, it, my week didn't start with just this. My week started with that fucking Reagan doc. Ah, uh, you finally watched. Yeah, you, you texted yeah, me but, early. But look at the timeline for me. Like the Reagan doc. Oh, yeah. Georgia winning. Uh, then all uh, us doing Fauci. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's in my timeline. And then all of this chaos happening uh, at the Capitol. So I watched the Reagan doc real quick. I didn't know. I didn't know that he was an actor so early leeching off of Hollywood women. Yes. Oh, you didn't know that? <laughs> Not the leeching off of Hollywood women part. Yeah. Or the acting so early part. Mm hmm. Or the failure rap, oh, failure rapper, failure fucking failure actor when it's got down to D and E list and G list, yeah. and when the gigs stopped coming in, and now they had you doing the movie with the monkey mm-hmm. or the ape. Mm-hmm. Was that an ape? That was an animal. Bozo, an animal. bozo. It was bozo. Yeah, something in bozo. I didn't know none of this. Yeah. yeah. Did you watch yeah. it yet? Yeah. Okay. I did. It was great. Yeah, yeah it was really crazy. good. Really but good boy, did it anger me. Yeah. And I feel like if I would have really been well versed on the story of Reagan and Nancy, shout out to what a G that Nancy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, did she fuck us good. <laughs> what a G. Yeah. Just yeah. say no. Yeah. What yeah. a fucking G. <laughs> she put new plates in the White House. Yeah. Hey, my dad was on crack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what yeah. the hell was going on? It was, it was wild. The 80s was wild. But, but I'm just saying, if I would have knew more about his story, why was everybody acting like Trump was a surprise or a new thing? This is all. See, you see how shit started to, see how start to come here? This is like that. Why saying. is everybody running around? We've never seen anything like this before. Now, granted, to this magnitude, we have not. To this magnitude. We just get visibly, information. We just get visibly, information visibly, faster now. Where they so. put it in front of the veil. Where they yeah. put it in well, front Reagan, of the Reagan curtain. was also in politics before he was president. Trump went from The Apprentice to the White House. That's true. Yeah, there, there is a slight difference. He did like, the at real least way. Reagan had some type of. Oh, he was a governor in, first. In at politics. least there was something. <laughs> that nigga was a fucking puppet and pawn. Absolutely. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. I'm not here to support. Least, for sure. It wasn't as crazy to see him become the president the way it was with Trump, just because they were both actors at one point. And, and, and yes, it, Trump was an well. Actor. Trump was Trump was the LeBron version of Reagan. He skipped uh, he skipped True. college. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, he didn't yeah. have to do that. Straight, to, straight to the league. He didn't take that sports and, the Schwarzenegger the rollout com- in the same combo. I'm just saying he didn't take what? the Arnold route. Yeah. yeah, Reagan didn't want to be Trump, the governor. Trump didn't even play high school ball. Nancy hated no. that house. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that the governors had a house. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Wait. Yo, who knew that the governors got a house? I didn't know that. I am stupid, audience. <laughs> Yeah. Who in the audience knew that? I didn't know until uh, YouTubers. 
You knew the governor got a house? I didn't know I that. I didn't know the governor got a house either. So, man, just watching that, it just put so much into perspective for me. Yeah. Trump uh, is Reagan part two. I mean, I'm sure if I look further down in the lineage, I can find a few more of, of them. Of course. Absolutely. Yeah. That exist. It's all, it's all connected. It's all, all of these guys are friends behind the scenes. Trump's had supported financially. But what a candidates. genius Republican idea. Get an actor. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, absolutely. Y'all ever dated a, a girl that was an aspiring actress? Yes. Like, do y'all know how scary it is dealing with someone who can act? Absolutely. Mm. It's yes. terrifying. You don't it's, know who you're talking to. It's scary. With. Yeah. Writers, too. You ever dated a chick that writes? Terrifying. Mm-hmm. No, all my bitches are stupid. <laughs> they, can, they can write nothing down. <laughs> they can hit send and upload. <laughs> Bright brightness. <laughs> they, they're good with the filters, <laughs> but not they, sat- can, they can quote, saturation. They can quote a sweetie song. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to change us doing that this year. No, I'm not. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm st- I'm leaning more into it. Uh, what was I talking about just now? Reagan Doc. Oh yeah, I'm just saying. Put a lot in perspective when when we win Georgia. All right. So what do we need to know about Georgia? This is politics for people that are not into politics because that's where the world is right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Georgia's blue. They split. I'm reading this right. 50, 50.9. 40, it was close. Blue. Oh, yeah, this was close. It was very close. Very close. John Ossoff, 50.5%. 50. 2.2 million votes. Oh, 2,252,000 2. votes. Oh, this is real close. Yeah. Very Yo, close. I want to hit the round of applause for the young voters, man. I do. Yeah. This, this, is, this is huge. This is huge. Wait, and then and then the Reagan shit got a little more into him flipping the parties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the parties flipping and the yo, the whites are fucking good. Yeah. So yeah, I guess you could say that. Interesting. Good. They're they're interesting. They're clever. Yeah. The, uh, we we've had a run. <laughs> <laughs> a hell of a run. Yeah. Democrat John Ossoff defeated Republican David Perdue, according to the Associated Press, making him the youngest member of the U.S. Senate and the first Jewish senator from Georgia. Earlier, Raphael Warnock, a pastor from Atlanta, defeated GOP Senator Kelly Loeffler after a bitter campaign. Warnock becomes the first black Democrat elected to the Senate from a southern state. Talk about it! The Senate will now be split 50-50 between the two parties, giving Vice President-elect Kamala Harris, the tie-breaking vote. Well, what do you know? Yeah. That was one thing I was having. A, a black woman from an H, uh, HBC, HSBC? HBCU. That's HSBC a bank, and HBCU. That's a bank. Yeah, that's a, that's a bank. <laughs> she probably banks with them, though. Shout out to she HSBC. Might, yeah. Kamala, she probably banks with them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She goes go to HSBC. Don't <laughs> yeah, do that. Yeah. She probably does bank with them. That's, you know, it's not a bad call. No, nah, but this is awesome. Like, this is awesome. All I could think of was, like, uh, all I could think of is how like my grandparents would feel mm. watching this because they would never assume to see that day. Even when uh, Trump won the election, all my well, uh, we, we we'll never get we'll never get both we'll never get both we'll never mm-hmm. get the Senate we'll never get the Senate. So to see it happen, yeah, this is awesome. That was one thing I was happy about. With uh, you know, you, you look at things like Trump becoming president and people being upset. I think that it just made more people, younger people, pay attention to politics. I agree. Yeah. And to me, that was that's a good yeah. thing. That more people are just paying attention and wanting to n- learn more about it, mm-hmm. and wanting to just you know pay and look at it and just see what's going on and, and watch it closely. Like to me, that's something good you could take from Trump's presidency is that the younger people are paying attention to politics. Okay, so we win Georgia. Mm-hmm. That's Wednesday morning. Yeah. Then Wednesday, we all watched. Uh, the documentary about how museums were made. Oh, wait, senators do get six. I'm sorry. Senators get six. House gets, I think, two. I don't care what y'all say. No, no. That was funny. Yeah. I missed it. That was. That I was is, trying to find facts. But that is how. Hey, Rory. See, Rory would appreciate that. Rory. I'm trying, man. It's, it's tough. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. So they breached. Shut up, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's they, get our CNN bag, Rory. Okay, listen. <laughs> Last podcast, we gave you a Fauci interview. We did our due diligence to the country. And they killed and, us for that. And we, 
They killed. You want to talk about that? <laughs> they killed us for Fauci. Fair. You can't win on the internet. You can't. You can't. It's, you Im- it's impossible. You it's impossible. You cannot. Yeah. No, nah, but a lot of people did praise us. No, yeah, because uh, we, they got were just a, happy we got to a see lot. We got a lot us talking of praise, Doctor Fauci. I think but you they, know the the. I think there was some shock in that. Uh, I also think that you know, for the most part, we do try our best to be responsible on the platform. Absolutely, we try. Yeah. So whether we agree with taking a vaccine or not, the right thing to do was to speak to the guy. And then he popped up in a Reagan doc, looking yeah, just yeah. as handsome as can be. Yeah. Is he married to that doc? He is. <laughs> He's <laughs> off the market, buddy. I'm sorry. Look who I would target as a girl. <laughs> 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 um, so yeah, we did our responsibility. We bring you Dr. Fauci and, they, and a lot of people did kill. Why were they killing I us? think they were killing us more for what we talked about afterwards and not what we talked about while we had him on the phone, mm-hmm. which I understand, but they have to understand that we only had 15 minutes with him. We couldn't ask all the questions that we wanted to ask. Mm-hmm. Um, it is what it is. And we're not those guys. Like We won't ask him what we want to ask him. Let me tell you something. He was cool as a fan. He was. He was cool as a fan. And what I mean is, he didn't ask for the questions to be sent in so he mm-hmm. could screen them. Mm-hmm. All of his people was as cool as can be. They didn't give any problems. Shit, he was sitting down ready to go before I was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was awesome, man. I really appreciate him. And when he popped up on the Reagan shit, I appreciated him there too. But when white people were doing all of this on Wednesday, the first thing I went to was when Trump wanted a recount in the selected cities, mainly Detroit, because mm-hmm. I was watching that one. And they was in there trying to get the, trying to get the count together. Yeah. <laughs> he sent them white people right over there. They start trying to bust in the door, just break up, just cause commotion uh-huh. to delay the process yeah. of counting votes. Uh, I am assuming that there is some legal loophole somewhere that says if you delay the process long enough, the the uh, acting president can remain acting president for however long. Fact check it yourself. I don't know. I'm just freestyling my thoughts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I said, okay, that seems like an organized attempt at disrupting counting votes. Got it. But they they deaded that. But that was happening in a few different places. So when I saw this, and then when they announced, oh, they were in there counting things again, (laughs) Mm -hmm. I said, oh, okay. And then the reports continued to come out that said there was... He tweeted something that said, yo, January 6th is going down. We killing niggas, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Because some people were saying, well, man, this appears staged. It and appears I was staged. saying, <laughs> boy, it appears organized. Yeah. And there's a thin line there. So tell me about why it appeared staged to you versus <laughs> organized. Well, okay, stage, I guess what makes it feel staged to me is that they didn't have any uh, National Guard ready or anything, uh, police reinforcements. They didn't have the trucks like they had for BLM uh, uh, protests. Mm-hmm. They had no nothing. Mm-hmm. So that tells me that they said something ahead of time, mm-hmm. which would be staged. Organized kind of falls in the same category as staged to me in that, you know. Well, it was definitely organized. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was definitely organized. Yeah, um, but at first I subscribed to stage. Mm-hmm. Staged. Yeah. Man, something seems off and funny, and this guy was here before, and all of that bullshit. But as the facts kept coming, it was like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I've seen that. enough 24. Mm-hmm. I've seen enough, uh, what's 24 part two, uh, designated survivor. Mm-hmm. I've seen enough. We've seen, I've seen this enough to know. We just saw it in all the summer. Yeah. But that's my point. With the, the protests. Well, even deeper than the protests, because that's 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 consumer facing. That's okay. that's out here. But on these shows, on 24, half of the House and Senate or the politicians was riding with the president. Mm-hmm. It was riding with Jack Bauer, and mm-hmm. then the other half wasn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And over the years, we saw people bounce back and forth. So for the last few years, with all these pending investigations and charges piling up for when Trump is not in office, we've seen just dominoes falling throughout the years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We get enough dirt on one of his mans. All right, we got him. He's going down. We've, we've seen this chess game. And then when Pence fell on Wednesday, I said, the final domino. Mm-hmm. Wow, now they've finally turned on each other. I love this petty white shit. (laughs) I love Pence changing his Twitter header (laughs) to Biden and Kamala. Did you see it? (laughs) Glorious 2021. Glorious 
They fixed that pretty quickly. I think it only lasted for five minutes, but still. Glorious <laughs> 20. 21. This is going to be crazy. I turned the issues. news on. I turned the news on, right? And for hours, I'm channel surfing through all of the newses. Don't know if that's a word, but you know what sure. I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And I'm watching it and, and consuming this for hours. And because of that black compassion shit that we have, right? Because we just empathetic to all. Because we just feel for all. I started to feel 2020-ish watching it. Yeah. I never want to see life loss. Yeah. I never yeah. want to see who the fuck doesn't know it's pod day. It's my kid. Sorry. <laughs> Are you okay? I, I was calling to ask for some insight, <laughs> but you're you're potting right now. As soon as I am done providing insight to the world, I will take care of you, my son. That was really inspirational. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga talking like Darth Vader. Who are you? <laughs> no, no, do I'll call you when I'm done. All right, cool. All right. All right. Uh, where was I at just now? Oh, I never want to see loss of uh, a life. I never want to see any of that. But I'm watching this. I'm starting to feel real 2020-ish. And I said, why? We're not even fucking four days in. And I promised myself I wouldn't do this to myself. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, it's none of my business. Well, why you say it's none of your business? What these white folks is doing, what these white thugs and (laughs) heathens, terrorists... Which is what they are. They are. Mm-hmm. Which is what they are, which is what they were. What and they're they, uh, uh, tre- uh, tyrannous. What they were doing, that didn't concern me. Traitors is the word. I'll yeah, say. That's, that's not, that's not patriot, patriot, uh, patriotic to me. No. Right. Like, there's nothing American about, about any of that. It's, I don't know. You're not going to get me to invest that emotional capital while I'm sitting home. Y'all organize that. Not me. But see, I, I think the opposite, Joe. I think this is uh, American. I think this is a part of America that exists that for a long time we have ignored and tried to act like didn't exist. I just love the fact that it's happening for the world to see, honestly. Oh, white supremacy is very American. Yeah, that part of it is absolutely. very American. I, I was going to say, is America. that entire basis is what America was built on. Exactly. Like it this, is, this is America. This is the United States. But the, this whites, is what it looks like. the whites do this shit. Is, is well, see, new. and that's why I want to go back. This is definitely new. Yeah, that's this why is a new I want to go back yeah. to my point about Jack Bauer in 24, mm-hmm. right? Because when you wasn't rolling with Jack, like when you wasn't rolling with the president, uh, you had to go around, you had to move around them. Mm-hmm. Like they was in cahoots. Sometimes certain doors would be unlocked. They mm-hmm. shouldn't have been unlocked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like some of the cops like, did y'all see 24? <laughs> I was never a 24 guy. Yeah. So I know what you mean. But it's cool. Everything that happened here is, 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 was yeah. on 24. Yeah. Mm. So I'm not going to call this a breach. No. It no. was. They were invited somewhere. They were invited, yeah. Yes. By yeah. that. The, by the sitting president. Yeah. In a tweet. Certain doors were in, unlocked. In a speech. Hey. In a speech, he they, said, "We're going to go to the Capitol. I'm going to go with y'all." Even though he ran to the White House, he said, "I myself am going to walk with y'all to the Capitol right now." It wasn't a tweet. It was a, a whole speech. Listen. When we need to go to the Capitol together <laughs> to fight. All the tweets started said, coming through. Oh, they denied. They denied help the national security. Uh, yes, hmm. because this is organized and you have to get approval from mm-hmm. the president to do these things. Yeah. So if he's not giving it, when we saw him give it to all of the people that looked like that looked like they was coming towards those steps, all black people that was on the street that led to those steps got ran over by horses. Uh, oh yeah, we know. Sprayed yeah. with mace. We watched that in real time in 2020. Yeah, mm-hmm. all so, summer. So today to watch the white people make it right to the steps. Climb the windows, break the windows. That shit was some real crackhead looking shit when they were climbing that wall. I'm not gonna hold you. They got the craziest yo, looking whites. White, first white, of all. white people, y'all are so unathletic. <laughs> they found the craziest looking whites they y'all, could find. Y'all look uh, horrible <laughs> climbing things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why y'all ever underestimate the poor whites that do drugs. They'll oh, break never some would. shit and yeah. climb some shit and get into some shit. Oh, poor please. whites are the scariest people on let, earth. Let me tell you why I'm underestimating the poor whites. I watched one of them take a brick to a glass window and took him nine <laughs> tries to break it. <laughs> 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 and granted, they might be a tough window, but still. No, see, and this is the sad part, and you can lose your life in a moment's notice. At a moment's notice. Mm-hmm. 
the young lady that uh, I think there were stairs too. Isn't the, the, crazy? There was stairs. <laughs> that was the funniest part. The young lady Mad that stairs. the young lady that lost her life climbing through the window. Oh yeah, that was terrible. Yes, it was terrible. But the nigga knocked with the brick nine, nine times before the window broke. Yeah, they sitting here armed with guns to your faces. Even that picture from the actual uh, whatever that office is where they say all the racist shit like on TV. Mm-hmm. Um, even there, where they had the guns to the back of the the back of the main seat, and yeah. somebody's eyes and and head was there. I'm like, oh, you white people play different. Yeah, yeah. like guns to the head should mean evacuate to y'all, but not if you were sent here. Right. Not well, if, yeah. not if you we're had so, strict. We're and, so used to not being threatened by authority. Facts. That we see that and don't really, it doesn't move us because because we know we're protected by whiteness. Yeah, <laughs> they're not uh, gonna shoot. They can't shoot me. Uh, and, they, and they did it for the most part. They were right. I know. Yeah. Listen, you white people, y'all don't have so much experience being on that side of the fight. Like, so I really enjoy when white arrogance manifests. Cause boy, was y'all out there he hawing. And I'm sitting home saying. You do they know that the sun's got to come down? Hmm. It's a little different when that sun went down. Hey, it was different when the sun was up and I'm watching the dudes. They over there checking the time, calling they fit like the, the security, yeah. the national guys. Yeah. They like, Two more hours. Yo, you good? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, we about to get to work a little bit, man. <laughs> yeah. Now they wild. My, my iPhone says 533 sunset. <laughs> no, you know, they, they, they wilding right now, but I mean, we'll get it under control soon. Yeah. Hey, all that footage changed in a few hours. Yeah. Quickly. Oh, yeah, and you saw some of them. They started. They started leaving there when they started. They, the sun started going down. It's like, I, yeah, they I re- think. Yeah. Think it's time to go now. Why they ain't arrest none of them? They arrested like ten. <laughs> yeah, this is this is again, man. I, they would have lined them black bodies out in the street oh, if we'd have tried that. It wouldn't have been arrested. It would have been deaths. Yeah. yeah, no, a lot of them. It wouldn't have made it to the nighttime. Not at all. No, not but, but we smart enough not trying no shit like that through the press. That, see, that's the difference. <laughs> see, we'll protest. We'll make some noise. We'll you know burn some shit. Running into the Capitol building. That's yeah. when they're gonna be like, whoa, 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 hold on, fam. Like, like yeah. I don't know if we want army. Do, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we want to do that. Like let's we can stand yeah. out here and make some noise. I think but. Saw Part Seven just dropped. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm staying. Go home and catch that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Knicks are playing. Go yeah, catch that. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Yeah, but then the result was what? Oh, so wait, so they had to go around Trump to even deploy the National Guard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Trump was golfing somewhere. Hey, they tweeting, yo, say something, say something. He like, yo, chill. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he did say something, he was like, I love you guys. You guys are great. Yeah. Thanks. That shit was he crazy. Said, he said, special people. You guys are special. <laughs> they looked a little special. Though. Nah, he was right on that. They, 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 yeah, they wanted somebody they had a Viking a helmet brick on. Wall yeah. For no reason. Well, they were special. Bare skin pants and well, a Viking helmet. I don't I don't want to get into a huge debate or derail this great conversation. But you did kill Joe, myself, and Parks when we said during that debate when Trump said, Proud boys, stand down, but stand by. And how problematic that was, and you killed us for thinking that was problematic. Do you take that statement back? No. Why? Why would I? Because I don't was, think this look was, what happened. I don't, think, what I don't happened. think this was. This was a. This you, was a bunch of different people out here. This wasn't just like whatever they were saying. Proud boys were. This was a lot of. This was a lot of a mix of a whole bunch of different people. Like, can you, a whole you bunch can't of just, his clan. And it was still well, his too, but who? I'm just saying it wasn't and just Duck like. So you just disagree people, with whatever his clan's name is? No, it's not that I disagree. I just the Proud Boy statement to me, the, you know, I don't know what the fuck. Do that you means. agree that somehow Donald Trump signaled for people to participate in this act on this day at this time? Uh, he definitely put energy out there that would rile people up for sure. Why anybody that supports him definitely felt like felt the need to uh, act out and and act act in ways that were. Unnecessary. I but watching that for this, sure. watching this, listen, again, I felt really good watching all of this, or actually when I stopped watching all of this. <laughs> when I stopped watching all of this. Like racism is such a fake thing. Whoa, whoa. It's such a man made oh, okay. manufactured okay. thing. Like if you're just building an entire ecosystem and economy and world on this one thing on division mm-hmm. then i could see how that would spread like if i'm if i'm if i'm if i'm training the world to believe if i'm building the entire universe around the belief that santa claus is a real person uh-huh. mm-hmm. and 
then that would just be fact in the world. Mm -hmm. Like racism is built on hate, hate that's taught. And anything that's taught can be untaught, maybe not in a lifetime. So I won't address that. Sure. Mm -hmm. But it can be redirected. Absolutely. Just that fast, the people that they say hate us so much, we're fighting the white people over what? Mm -hmm. At the at the drop of a dime. Mm -hmm. Right. Disturbance to other white people. The white people in fucking the clips I saw from the white the white residents that lived in D.C. that were angry. Oh, I love it. I stand with you, white king. Oh, the white guy that was uh, saying all these crackers. Right yeah, here. <laughs> that guy yeah. was great. Some of the things that are so symbolic in in our history, y'all history, white history, not y'all, but white mm -hmm. history, like. I want to be in the group chat where you niggas said, all right, I got the three pieces of wood. We're going to hang the noose up at this time. Like, how do y'all put this together? That wood was big as hell. They didn't even sell that in Home Depot. <laughs> how did y'all transport <laughs> those three cinder blocks? Well, most of those guys look like they came from the woods, so they probably manufactured the wood themselves out of... And they drove it to D.C.? <laughs> you fucking idiots. Yeah. Without getting arrested, I threw my McDonald's wrapper outside the car on Farmer's Boulevard one time, and they hit the old car up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They put a big ass noose up there. Mm hmm. Yeah. To say what? Well, a lot at of people this point, it's hard for white people to argue against the fabric of this country, right? Yes, I would hope so. Like, and we thought that was so. and we thought <laughs> that was happening last year, but we're seeing a little more of that. Well. A little more of that was on display here. Yeah, yeah. is all I'm saying. You and just like, at least, at least the very least, you can see the difference in white. You you can see what white privilege looks like. I would hope mm -hmm. to the people that there are Fam. people there are people that deny white privilege out there, and I hope that they can at least no, see this and go. You know it's, what? It's clear. It's, they, it's they might crystal have a point, point today. No, I think about it. Fam, yes. they went in there and started posing with the the, the statues. Fam, homeboy had the whole there. podium like waving. <laughs> I think some dude uploaded his uh, Pro Tools from Nancy Pelosi's desk. No, I think it was a Photoshop job. But, it was but somebody yeah. was at Nancy Pelosi's desk. It was desk. a hilarious Photoshop. He got arrested. He got arrested. They <laughs> were they were writing on the folders, <laughs> we'll be back. Like, yeah. they didn't even, like, that's how stupid they are. Like, you, the, the detail, the extent of their organization didn't go very far. No. Yo, get in there. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of people like the, the guy that was on the desk. There was a picture of him holding like mail that he stole up afterwards. Like, bro, you're going to jail. Like, what are you talking about? They don't care. Though. White no, people they don't, don't fear jail. That's a, yeah, that's that's a federal offense. Yeah, they don't yeah. go. Jail is for us. Yeah. yeah. And that's what people were saying. And he will probably not go to jail. Is the, no. The, the thing about it. No. Yo, respectfully, of course. Mm -hmm. The young lady or the middle aged lady, the white lady in the wheelchair that was handicapped because disabled is offensive mm -hmm. too now I think handicap uh -huh. mm -hmm. what was she doing there uh, exercising the first amendment freedom of speech Man, that's, what they, that's what they say row home yeah no I, I'm with you <laughs> I'm with you more don't say exercise <laughs> <laughs> see that's We've white privilege word. see you can say that <laughs> I can't say that see so you can say no, that. <laughs> I can't say that. I can't joke like that. <laughs> no, that was a good one, Roy. That was good. Yeah, we miss you here at the JBP. Yeah. You it's not the same. No, that was a good one. But I'm not going to get into the jokes that Joe and I made last night about that woman. <laughs> Wait, why are you telling on me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what a mess. They was in there rolling her around. Oh, so he was arrested already. Yeah, he was arrested. Okay. What did he do in Nancy Pelosi's office? Took a picture. He doesn't look like he should be stunting for the gram, but he tried it. He got he got in the office. Look how all these, he got it. Look how all these dudes was dressed too. Just yeah. lumberjack. The fact that he found like how do you even know where her collabs. office is? Right. <laughs> like how does he even know where her office? Like he was walking around looking for her office because he watched Twenty Four. Yeah. <laughs> I felt so bad for the people that have to uh, reorganize all those papers that were thrown around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now the cleanup crew, they, they better get a raise. That looked like better a lot Better get a little work. bump. Now, you know, COVID. They was in Spray there. everything down. Yeah. They was in there being tourists. They was in there like they won the championship. Yeah. <laughs> so this was their championship. <laughs> like, they got the but they the lost the championship is the ah, funny part. They, they said they got robbed. <laughs> they didn't. They, they, want, they, want the, they want the Stanley Cup back. <laughs> they didn't. 
This is this is I just love the fact that the world is can see this now. That's this, that's all I, I just This love is that. how Tenet started, but with yeah, a had, lot less organization. They had the Confederate flag <laughs> at the Capitol. Mm-hmm. Where were the gas bombs that Tenet had? <laughs> nah, those wasn't all. Well, that's the other thing. They had bombs all over the motherfucking place. I don't know if anybody's gotten arrested for that yet, but it was a wild. So day. now what? Uh, what did that do? Y'all I, made I y'all say, but nothing. Y'all made all the people. Hey, so Biden won again. Yeah, he won again. Biden's won mad times. Good for Biden, man. <laughs> Happy for that, brother. <laughs> He's won like six times in the past two months. Yo, you know what I'm gonna like about about uh, Biden's presidency? Like they called Biden out to give a little speech uh, when the Trumps were trumping out there. Mm. Like. Biden looked like, yeah, why y'all hitting me, man? I, I am 80 years old. I do not. Where is Kamala? Is it my job? Do I have you to? You know the amount of Adderall I have to take to even get to the podium? Yo, you know it's true. When Biden leaves the podium and turns around and talks to the audience, enough! <laughs> we have to stop. Like, yo, we, you was just over there by the mic. Yeah. <sighs> Look at his face. He is disgusted with us. <laughs> Biden. Oh, and I got a lot more of them confusing Joe Biden and Joe Biden, by the way. I'm sure. They sending it's, me all types of proposals. and It's going to be a long four years for you. <laughs> Wait, is that is that how we got Fauci on the pod? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He got on the fucking Zoom was like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait this is not President Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm watching the Reagan shit. I'm watching this disaster at the Capitol. And if you really want to depress yourself as a black man, I was telling somebody the other day, I just started randomly thinking about the presidents I've been alive for. Mm. Like when I was watching Reagan, I was thinking about all the shit that I just didn't know. Like I didn't think about Reagan being a leeching actor. Who knew Woody Harrelson had a dad, even though his name is Junior? Like, there's some things I just didn't. <laughs> Who knew Woody Harrelson what? had a dad? Because <laughs> I'm saying, when I watch these docs, like, I didn't know Woody Harrelson's dad was such a big, prominent figure in Hollywood. I told y'all this I before. didn't know that. Yeah, he was a gangster. Oh. He was a gangster in Hollywood. So I don't I like know Woody. that. Well, I like him too now, and I'm yeah. sorry to <laughs> him, <laughs> him his dad. Don't get offended. Uh, I'm just saying some things I didn't know. So, yeah, to learn that about, damn, I forgot the point I was getting to. Oh, the presidents that I've been alive for. It's yeah. depressing. Yeah. yeah, it's depressing. Yeah, it's a roller coaster. Somehow Trump's the only one that got only got four. He just knew he was getting eight. <laughs> I got four from Trump. I got eight from Barack. I got eight from Clinton. I got eight from Bush. I got Bush two. eight from Bush. I got eight from Reagan. Yeah, I think uh, George Senior only was four though. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't. Yeah, add he only served one term. I can't add it. Don't matter. <laughs> That's depressing. Yeah. I'm voting Kanye. No. Why? Because <laughs> Jeffree Star would be a fly first lady. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that was something, a great joke. There's something that's just not right it. about that. It. I know there's I something. I the joke. I know there's something that's not right about it. <laughs> I, was, I don't know good, what, good. but it's something that's just not right about that, is all I'm saying. It's 2021. Yeah. No, that was great. Yeah. Joe. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, nah, you're right. Real. You're right. You're right. You're right. So does Jeffrey. Yeah. See? This and part Andrew Jeffrey will, will make sure uh, that racism what? stays in the White House. All right. Y'all got to stop. <laughs> Y'all got to stop. We can't do that. <laughs> so does Jeffrey. <laughs> Y'all are sick. Um, all right. What else do we need to unpack here? Yo, Screen Man, can you get all the racist presidents off the screen? <laughs> <laughs> like everything we don't need, just like a little help with. I know who's racist and who's not. <sighs> Man. What if they came out and told us Denzel was racist? Nah. Like one of our like heroes. Nah, I'm not rolling with that. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I'm not rolling with that. That's the same thing I said when they tried to tell me about Kevin Spacey. I'm like, no. <laughs> you know, with no Denzel, no. way. No. Uh, not Kev. <laughs> Sam, you knew Kevin Spacey was nasty. I did not know. I loved him before I didn't. Like he was he was white Denzel. I, I also loved Kevin oh, Spacey. For sure. He was like the classy. Him, ah, ah, that guy is nasty. Yeah, he's filthy. Well, now that all of this has come out, his eyes and his nose look funny. <laughs> you start picking him apart yeah, now. He's got a little did bit you, of lizard. Yeah, How yeah. didn't I see it? Yeah. He's got lizard people tendencies. Yeah, but did, I'm did just you saying. Watch his, his YouTube bit. What did you say? came out after the whole thing. I didn't hear you zap, zap It was called Let Me Be Frank. Yeah. Yeah. He's a creep. An amazing acting performance, but the 
I'm always like, yeah, he did that shit. Yeah, no, it's true. I didn't hear what you said, but it was true. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. You better call Shout out to Wi-Fi. <laughs> Where was you the first time that you heard about what Charlie Sheen was really getting into? What'd you say? What'd you say the first time you heard it? <laughs> no, 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 he didn't. I said, not no, wi- no, he's not. Not wild thing from Major League. <laughs> <laughs> that was my guy. What was the name of his show? Two and a half men. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. was. He was such an inspiration. At the time, he was getting Legend. like, what was Come he back like king. five million an episode. I think he was living with like 10 white girls and he was legend. doing coke every day. Yeah. yeah, legend. Handguns everywhere. Then his job had the nerve to talk about, you're not performing right. So <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I'm having a great time. Um. All right. So is this over with? What else do we no. see? What else? It's not right. No. It's not. It can't uh, be. No. no. No, it's not over with, but I think it's going to die out pretty quick. Trump think he's going to fix this by letting Wayne and Kodak Black out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks that's going to win him over. He might get impeached. Yeah, they impeached him before. No, but like no. for real impeached. Yeah, the real version. Yeah. He's going to jail. Just the, the deluxe impeached? Yeah, he might get the... the... Trump, is, Trump is not going to jail. I have him going to jail. I don't know if he's going to jail. No. But I could see him getting impeached for sure. <laughs> he's going to jail. Y'all think he just did all that I shit mean, the other day and was walking away scot free? Somebody's going to jail for the other day. No, nah, he's not going. To, no, it won't be Trump. He's not going to jail. And yeah. then all the all the politicians, they're coming out. We we move to strike him as president. I'm like, fam, he's got two weeks left. <laughs> <laughs> like, and he's been doing this kind of for four years. You can just wait. Your, you can wait the two weeks out now. Yeah. It's That's okay. why I say this. Well, no, the reason why they want to impeach is so he can't run again. And he wouldn't get uh, all the, you know, as taxpayers, we pay for his Secret Service mm-hmm. and protection and housing mm-hmm. and all that shit. After he's out of presidency, if he was impeached fully, that would not happen anymore. So there is a value in impeaching him still, even if it's only two weeks. And not, just, not for nothing, we thought two months, it's not much you can do in two months. Wasn't he impeached? Happened. He was impeached. Yeah, he was. But not, he's impeached already. Yeah, but not kicked yeah, out of office. They didn't, yeah, yeah they, didn't, it wasn't, they didn't find anything... Any substantial Well, evidence. because that's been the story of his whole presidency is fucking dangling power over people's heads and just hoping that they act right. Yeah. And his party was, you know, on board with him because he had a fan base, basically. So now that they can't really be on board with him, you might see an impeachment happen. Maybe. We'll see. I think he's, he's out of here. I think he's going to jail. I do. But we'll see. Jail, no. One thing that's for sure, more will be revealed. Oh, please. The government don't spend all this money to get you and don't get you. Yeah, they, just, have, they have been trying to get him. I never you know? really have a lot of faith of rich, powerful white men going to jail. <laughs> but that's all, and it Where? stops right there. No, they, they go. It's just a different jail. Well, that's true. There's a golf course there. Yeah. Five star meals. So he's just going to going one of his hotels, <laughs> <laughs> going to Mar Lago Resort. <laughs> Files. <laughs> yeah, better Wi Fi than Rory's got. Yeah. He's Where? definitely going. There. He's definitely going to his resort for sure. Rory definitely didn't get the white privilege package. <laughs> wi Fi. I have the high speed Verizon Wi Fi. I don't know why we're not looking at maybe it's Parks Wi Fi and not mine. I just keep telling you to shut up and you just keep trying. To, it just sounds. <laughs> <laughs> you got the auto tune on? <laughs> T Pain that ass. Yo, Maul is back with another thing of things that need to stop in 2021. Right? Stop, stop tagging me. Stop in tagging him. Listen, post. listen to him, antisocial man. I am. No, stop man. talking you, to me. You know I'm antisocial man. I don't, just don't tag me in your posts. I mean, certain shit. I, certain shit. Yeah, but certain shit. Come on, shit. fam. Like, I, I get it. I, I hear you. I see you. I, I see what y'all doing out there, but it's just, it gets annoying after a while. That's all. When it's the I, same person I'm, over and over again. I'm clear, Maul may not be, that this is celebrity <laughs> privilege that we're t- discussing. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm not a celebrity. Yo, why y'all keep, you know what I mean, riding my dick? I didn't, no, I didn't say that. That's, <laughs> not, that's not what I Yo, said. Yo, why y'all be sucking my dick? That's not what I'm saying. I would never say that. I'm just, I just don't like all opening right, well, my phone and right, seeing. Well, well, that, well, let me say that. Y'all stop sucking my dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, enough. It's corny. Like, fam, oh, I'm sharing a stage with Joe Budden right now. Nigga, you're not. <laughs> oh, you talking about clubhouse type shit? I'm talking about all of it. Oh, okay. It's the same thing you talking about. Don't yeah, yeah, don't yeah, yeah. don't send me your demo 40 times in a row. I'm blocking you. Yeah. yeah. You can make the greatest music in the world. Sorry, yeah. buddy. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna hear it. I'm blocking you. Yeah. Stop yo. Joe. And some of y'all are really good, but the way you go about trying to get it heard and get it seen, it's just it'll it'll turn people. I'm off. in this room with Joe right now. He's dropping gems. I'm not. 
<laughs> I am not dropping gems. I haven't dropped anything. No, you, you and Chet, Chet Hanks were dropping gems last night. No, we were not. You boy. were exchanging gems with Chetty. <laughs> the Chetty. <laughs> Yo, no. You, you and Chet got to do I, a show, man. I saw, your, I saw your couch down there looking. <laughs> Me and Chet have to do a show. No, we yeah, do not. Yeah, nah, that's that's my man, hate. though. Yeah. Don't hate on uh, Shabba Hanks. <laughs> that's Rory's man too low now. He's texting. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so come on. What else is important, man? We done with the whites today. Yeah, yeah. En- enough, man. Enough, the enough the whites today. had enough we, luck. Yeah, we done with the whites for now. Yeah, yeah. Versus? Because we, we were supposed to be having a an event t- uh, tonight. Damn, man. And uh, just some sad, sad, sad news that well, we did they, did they No, cancel? no, 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 no. If you're not going to keep it real in 2021, then don't talk. Leave. Go home. Order Chinese food. What are you talking about? Yeah, more such a sad, sad thing. Like, yeah, we was looking forward damn, to this. Yo, it's crazy. Huh? Like, why? How? Like, what could have went wrong? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what yo, went wrong. The verses put up they, a statement. I know they risk. <laughs> Look, it's COVID. Don't say the verses. That's I like, said no verses. You put said up a the verses put out a statement like the dr. No, I didn't say the verses. <laughs> I said verses. Hey, Rory, why y'all say <laughs> the dr? <laughs> Because it's the DR. It is, it is <laughs> the DR. The, 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 the Dominican, Dominican Republic. Republic. It is. That's, right. That's, that's right. That's the same as Nancy Pelosi's office. <laughs> DR. <laughs> what? <laughs> I failed to see the parallel. But yeah, I mean, what? what? <laughs> the DR is DR. It's just it's, DR. It's the it Dominican is, it's Republic. Like, it's just DR. It's not the Dykeman. No, it's the Dominican Republic. Is it the Dykeman? <laughs> No. Is it the PR? <laughs> no. It's the DR. Just like it's the Bronx, but it's not the Manhattan. Same thing. Ah. Yo, you know what else bothers me? Let me go back to the whites whiting the other day. This is like a, a prime fear of mine. Like getting shot or having something really, really like life threatening happen to me and people just standing around me casually. <laughs> Pulling their phone out. Or just not acting. Because you know that's what happens now. Just Somebody not, get just, shot. Everybody just not acting with urgency. Yeah. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a real thing. The young lady was shot in her neck or her chest or somewhere, fell out the window, was yeah. on the floor losing her life, mm-hmm. and just surrounded by commotion in her final moments. That's an issue for me. That's bothersome to me. I watched it with Nipsey. Mm-hmm. Like I just have watched it. Every time we get to see it, that's what I watch. It's it's never it's never just an urgent matter. Well, they were in a that situation. In particular, that, they that were was the, just a chaotic they were in the best, environment. They were in the best place you could be to think that help would come. Uh-oh. I'm at the steps of the Capitol. I should get help. No, you're inside the Capitol building. Even better. But there should know, be a live-in there, ambulance there was, here. That's like true, like some rich people have the live-in chefs. There's a whole kitchen downstairs. You'll never have to see them. They just come up with a meal. You're happy. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, there should be a live-in ambulance over there. That's an issue for me, but whatever. <sighs> Off of that, man. Rest in peace to the, rest in peace to that uh, terrorist. I mean, rest in peace. That hurts. I know. Yeah, it's, see, I, I don't even feel right saying yeah, that, no. right? But you see, but that goes back to. I don't want to see but the, any white. But like that's what the memes going around. We're not telling y'all to to, why, to shoot them. We're saying, why do y'all shoot us? I've seen all of that. But yeah. see, but that goes back to <laughs> what I said, though. though. It's, it's, it, as black people, we can't even. We You felt some type of way of calling this woman a terrorist just now. Like, just in, internally, you just didn't even feel right calling her that. I would have liked to not call her that. And that's and that's the difference between. But I what think, terrorism is and what they taught me it is are two different things. Okay, but even even still, you they never still, taught me you still about didn't it. Feel right they saying nev- it. Well, yeah, because they never taught me about it being a domestic threat. Yeah. Right. Never. Yeah. Right. Or when it was, it was someone they that always, was affiliated they, with. No, no, they taught me I was the threat domestically. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. that too. So, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, but you see how you saying it? It just feels because I'm used to being that. Yeah, it would sound funny calling someone else that I don't typically identify that way that. Mm-hmm. And that's the feeling that the white people should have that do that to us. We're just compassionate people. It just right. goes back to that. Black people are just compassionate people. Well, why don't they have more compassion? Can y'all answer to that uh, outside of the typical I hate white people shit? Culturally, why is that seem to be a thing? Outside of y'all stole everything. Outside of that. Like, do y'all understand what I'm saying? I do understand like, what where you're does saying. It, 
I'm trying to find the answer, but I think that's probably why. But do you identify what we're saying? You Absolutely, 100%. 100%, but that's probably is why. Is that just from I like years of entitlement? When I say I hate me, white people, be clear, of course you I'm don't talking mean about and them. These, the evils, these white people. the evils, yeah, the evils. Yeah. And but that may be a reason why I don't really hang out with white people that are of that culture. Like I don't, I don't, I can't understand them. Mm. I don't understand their mindset. I don't understand their lack of empathy. I don't understand any of that shit. See, for me, I don't hate them. I just pray that they're untaught. Some of those. I don't things. hate them either. Yeah. Like, I, well, I hate what they stand for. I hate for what they believe. For me, love is in me. I'm when you're raised that way. Like for us to hate them, we would have to be taught that. Mm hmm. And not even because that's the world we came up in where they taught us that. Mm -hmm. right. Like if you if you beat me up every day at school, I'm probably not going to enjoy going to school. Like I'm probably going to hate you, the mm -hmm. teacher, the mm -hmm. your friends. Like yeah. I get how the cycle works, but okay, I guess what has to happen for y'all to gain some? That's the question. We, we've never had to, out of necessity, have empathy. Mm. Right. We never have. It, it's it's generations and generations of not needing to have empathy out of necessity because we've only had the luxury of focusing on our family and friends. We've never needed to have it to survive. Mm. That's a good point, Roy. Yeah, but I guess I, you're right. I'm, I'm just not even talking about it from a survival standpoint. I'm just talking about like what you're made up of as a human. Right. And I get it that maybe you guys are too too uh, arrogant and entitled or just too powerful in this construct that we live in to ever feel like you need to have that. I just don't see why y'all don't view it as a plus. Do y'all get nervous when the cops uh, pull y'all over? I do, absolutely. Why? Because I spent most of my entire life hanging out with black people for the most part. But you've so never, it's, 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 been, it's been ingrained in me now I've been pulled. I've I've been pulled over so many times riding around with my black friends that I now have the same fear, so even you, when I'm by myself. So you were with black people a lot of times when you had encounters with the police, all the time. Mm. Did they all treat, the time? And they didn't treat you so white in those instances. Hell no! They said, "What are you doing hanging around these people and shit of that nature? You don't need to be hanging out with these people. These people are." I, I saw. I think I briefly mentioned the story on here one time, but a, a friend of mine. Uh, his best friend and his cousin were coming over. His cousin was also a good friend of mine. Uh, and he got shot at by, you know, some street shit. And it, the bullet just grazed his eye. But, you know, he's bleeding. He almost lost his life by, like, a fucking fraction of mm -hmm. an inch. Mm -hmm. And me and my girlfriend at the time, who was white, were, like, with, with them at the police station all night. And the police are just like, why are you here? These are bad people. These are drug dealers. They were not drug dealers. They were just walking to come hang out with us and have a beer. So the same, it's not the same feeling. But mm -hmm. I understand the feeling mm -hmm. of fear of police. Okay. Even that, the what are you doing with these people? Like, even the identification of which side you're on. Like, the white girl that has been annoying us for God knows how many years. I won't say her name. But she was tweeting and pleading with the looters and terrorists to stop because they were behaving like them. Wow. She said, we... we uh, you don't want us to be like them or whatever she said. And I was like, oh, so you do know that you're part of that we. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, just because you're not behaving that way, you subscribe to those ideologies, mm -hmm. to those thoughts. So you're the we. It just it seems like no matter how many facts you lay out in front of people, like whatever ill will and malice and hate and just nastiness is in their heart, like maybe in our lifetimes it's not meant to... to be removed mm -hmm. but i really pray i say this too much here that my great grandkids can just see something different than what i've seen in the way that i've seen something different than what my great great grandparents saw and my grandparents sure it's just interesting because you know people in other parts of the world and us being americans i don't care you know, you'll see how you, you see how different care. even like in other parts of the world if i'm walking around in london somewhere mm -hmm. they don't they're not gonna ask, ask me am I black? They say, where are you from? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I'm American. There are some uh different countries, London probably being one of them, where there are still some absolute racist. Oh people. no, that's all yeah. over the world. But yeah. what I'm saying is when they see me, it's not black or you know what I mean? It's like, oh, you're American. We're learning about each other to divide. Like right. 
the first right. we're the first thing we're looking to do is divide and not love mm -hmm. with all the questions. Hey, what religion are you? What race are you? Right. Where are you from? Where do you live? What do you do for a living? How old are you? Who are your parents? What's your last name? Like, once uh -huh. you get into all of those things, it's all for division. Yeah. Hmm. And that's like the first reaction here in this country. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm watching the news. And again, we're going to end this soon because I don't want to spend too much time on this. I'm really in great spirits with it being 2021. And this added to that in spite of the loss of life. And on the news, as I'm channel surfing, you know, everybody kept speaking about this American pride mm -hmm. and how this is one of the worst days in American history. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the worst days. Yeah, this is bad, but... This is this is bad, and this is... Uh, Fam, if y'all want me... If y'all want me as a 40-year-old, young, uh, black millionaire that shouldn't have been a millionaire because I know that none of the laws that exist for all these new black millionaires that we wasn't supposed to do that <laughs> that's a mistake even that's a kink in the system but uh damn why is my memory so bad today oh the news American pride American pride oh my god the rest of the world is looking at us like we are pieces of shit and shambles how could this happen and I'm like fam I haven't been proud of any picture that y'all have showed of this country in my lifetime Mm -hmm. Like, why do they think I'm supposed to feel the way that other countries are looking at us the way that our own look at us? Like, right, right. that's how we've been looking at y'all. Right. It's all nastiness. It's all nastiness. Come on, let's get to black culture. Let's do it. Let's get to black culture. Spend enough time with Maul, the whites. Yes. All your takes be wrong. <laughs> why you say that? This why. YouTube, if you're listening to the lovely sounds of Queen... Uh, Keisha Cole, I DM'd her this morning for her phone number. She has not replied yet, but I wanted to call because enough is enough. You, a, hey, a hey, certain shit you just can't suppress for so much longer. They canceled this battle due to COVID because Ashanti got sick and we needed her to get better as the queen that she is. And now we have yet another postponage. Setback pushback rescheduling mm -hmm. they didn't give us a date but they said for safety reasons versus we'll have to go back to uh performing in different venues different locations i'm i'm all right with that that should change the vibe a little bit but i'm cool with that um but what i'm talking about underneath these verses posts on the internet hold up more <laughs> great record Amazing. I don't like when he does Mo, that. Mo Rory. never got his heart broke. Rory, I don't like when he does that. I, <laughs> he, he don't know what type of time. You, great heart you, you just did it again, like the thing you did when I hit the bullseye on try two, and you just commenced with your day. It's a great. <laughs> you just no. You just heard the sounds of greatness. I said, and a great you just look to the side. Great record. No, nigga, more than that. It's more than a great record. What is it? It's keep postponing. But what, what are you saying? What, what, I'm what, saying what, what narrative is, are you trying to create? I'm not paying the narrative. Yeah, you it's are. Not, you are. All right, so just walk with me. You are. I don't want to walk with you. I'm going the other way. Stay right here. <laughs> Stay right here with me. Versus made the post. Uh -huh. Swiss Beast rolled his eyes right underneath it. Oh, uh, Aggie face. Versus made the post. <laughs> but why was Swiss? Is, that Swiss Versus posted this. Made the, <laughs> no, Swiss did not post this. Who posted this? Versus. Swiss knows. He knows who posted it. He okayed it, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I don't think he did, but that's fine. Versus made the post. Okay, him or Tim? Keisha Cole puts a little emo it's, It was like emoji day. Mm -hmm. It's today emoji day. Keisha Cole put a little sad face emoji. I wonder what. And I don't she even think a that's side a sad eye. face. That's yeah, a little a side like. Eye. A little side eye. And, and, uh, side eye. That looks like it says bitch please. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> side eye and, and bitch please. You throw a side eye when you so say we, bitch please. We got a side eye from uh, Swiss Beats. We have a side eye from Keisha Cole. Come on, y'all. It's 2021. What do y'all think? It's 2021, y'all. Not last year. We can tell the truth. I don't know where you're trying to go with this. I'm fine. I'm asking you. you. Somebody, Joe's implying that somebody is running. Uh, stop yeah. it, man. What is wrong with y'all, man? No, no. That, I don't think that's what this is. Yes. I think. I think. Yes. I think. Like I said, yes maybe. Yes, maybe some people on the uh, the versus technical team. Maybe some of them caught COVID. Possibly. You know they, what I mean? Like they so. I don't know where this. They're fine. Do, do these ladies? They're, live they're breathing in better LA? than ever. Huh? Do, do, these, do they live in <laughs> LA? Mad sound people. <laughs> yeah, word. Or was this to be filmed I'm in LA? Sure. I know shit is bad. Over yeah, there. I don't know if it was supposed to be is. in LA. If they was supposed to film in LA, I'm not sure. Whole, I think so. whole nasal system, mad airy and breathy. 
Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> the, don't. But, but what? What narrative? Let's get to the narrative. What? What are you trying to say with this? Okay. Sing it with me. I remember when my heart broke. <laughs> hey! Come on, Mo. Come on, 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 come on. Yo, yeah. Ashanti, don't don't show up no more. Oh, but you, we don't want to see you no more. Why you saying this like it's a show? I would like to see Ashanti. Yeah, like, what are you talking I mean, about? It's cool. I'm we'll, trying to we'll, put this on Ashanti, man. Hey, listen, man. we'll see Ashanti in the next Joiner video. Dang, nah. don't, don't, don't waste our time. Don't you dare mention Keisha name no more. She never if she did. don't show up on the next one, buddy, she, she, this does fall on her, locations. is what I'm saying. No, it doesn't. Why? Fam, if you can't show up in separate locations, it's like, oh, that's shit, not, my... That's not what, that, it, that's not what this is Ashanti saying, though. If Ashanti texts us next week and say, yo, my basement flooded, it's crazy. Oh, no, no, no. That's, <laughs> that's totally different. You, now you're saying something different. Yo, man. something happened with the pipes and yeah, busts. Yeah, now you're saying something different. <laughs> yo, I got asbestos in my kitchen, yeah, y'all. Yeah, if that happens, then, then we can have a conversation. It happened already. No, it did she, had, she called COVID. Let's read this together. <laughs> Let me chill. Let's read, let's read between the lines. This has been an emotional week. Oh, come on. It's been. It, it has, has it not been an emotional week? Emotions have been high. They wrote, yeah. this, they wrote this last week. <laughs> in addition, look, that's yeah. how you know. In it. addition, See, man, I can't. Let me stop. Other shit going I, on. I don't want nobody. Yeah. From, I don't want nobody from Apple to text me. Yeah. Ang- I, angered at anything I'm this saying. This is D dot man. D dot wrote this. All right. Yeah, it was B dot and D dot. D dot. It was both of them. <laughs> they they collabed. It, it was a dot collab. In addition, anytime you write in addition after the first sentence, yeah. this is some bullshit. <laughs> Yo, it's been a rough week. And in addition to that, and another thing, yeah. this is a corporate and another thing, Maul. For sure. It is. Absolutely. As COVID-19 numbers continue, <laughs> oh, buddy, they say they're increasing. My, my we just had the Fauci all. on. Let me lose a deal right now in real time. We just had the Fauci, on. We, was, just, <laughs> we just had the Fauci <laughs> on, and he said the numbers are increasing. <laughs> Who wants to see us lose a deal I'm right now? Saying, <laughs> I'm just saying. Damn me. Fauci, had, he said the same thing. Numbers Damn, are increasing. Nah, the numbers I want are increasing. The, deal, the numbers are increasing. <laughs> I want the deal, man. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> the numbers are increasing. All right, audience. I can't tell you what I really think about this. <laughs> <laughs> the numbers are increasing <laughs> the numbers are increasing. Fauci said it they go I know all right let's read it together uh the numbers continue to Fauci said it <laughs> would you look hey, Fauci said it numbers continue to increase safety is a top priority for us there you go I'm rolling still nobody mm-hmm. wants to get sued I, I do believe yeah. that yeah that's or sick is. or die yeah all right as much as we enjoy having niggas yeah nah Oh, mm-hmm. as much as we enjoy having everyone in the same room together to protect the artists and everyone who works with us and putting the shows together, we'll be going back to separate locations for a bit. I support this move. I'm not mad at it. Got to keep people healthy. Mm-hmm. We're excited for the next few events and look forward to getting back to the show in coming uh, coming in weeks. Coming weeks, yeah. I could see them. I could see them pushing this for a uh, uh, Valentine special. Nah, I can see it. I can see them pushing this back another three weeks, three or four weeks for sure. Come Yo, y'all, you guys are full of shit. You lucky I'm not there. <laughs> what happened? If y'all don't admit that Ashanti is ducking, then shut up. Come on, why? How are you saying that, it's bro? I can't. It's she true. had COVID. Nah. Her, her, her parents were sick. Like everybody, they were I sick. Got it. They were in the hospital. Duncan. No, not true. That was her. Uh, she was scared to speak, so she spoke because she was scared. Oh my god, that y'all is what that was. Are, y'all are crazy. Yo, listen. All I'm gonna tell you is this, Maul. All I could do is go from the timeline that was presented to me. Mm-hmm. And when this battle was first announced, mm-hmm. I heard the majority of people laugh my good sister Keisha Cole out of room and didn't know why she was even in this. Who? Mad people. No. Rory, am I off? Yes, you're off with that. No one ever said that. Yeah, Not nobody one person said that. that. Joe's putting some sauce on it. Who would who would laugh Keisha Cole out of a room? Not laugh no, out. Not what? one give me person the, when thought battle, Keisha Cole shouldn't be in that battle. When this battle was announced, give me the percentage of who thought she might win when it was first announced. It's for you. Uh, 60-40 to Ashanti. I didn't. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was a little higher. It didn't that, feel. It I'm didn't feel like that. I say seventy five. I think that was. I think that's exactly right. And I'm gonna say it felt like seventy five twenty five. But it was overwhelmingly in Ashanti's favor. Whatever. 
wherever y'all want to land it. Mm -hmm. I got it at 75, 25. As the time went on, I'm saying, okay, COVID, that's valid. But mm -hmm. I mean, why was you outside? Honestly, but we can't do that. We can't do that. Right. Rory got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. We be outside. Mm -hmm. We got to fight through it sometimes. I understand that. Mm -hmm. You come back, everything's cool. The white people start bugging. I understand taking some time off for that because that's not what the country is right now. We don't need a scapegoat. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't need a, a an escape. Mm -hmm. We need to deal with whatever we're dealing with. I'm with that too. But, We'll get back to the show in the coming weeks mm -hmm. is a little alarming to me. That's the only sentence that I'm like, fam, wait, 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 wait. Well, wait, we're excited for the next few events, which means the next few might be separate locations. And then look forward to getting back to the show in the coming weeks might mean. Next few events is plural. So, yeah, you would be talking about the next few months. Separate locations. Says, I think they're trying to get back to the same room. But then we look forward to getting back the to the show. The yeah, show. The, the show. Their show. And Meaning, like, total. in the room together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't think Ashanti dare step foot where Keisha Cole is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, I, I think Ashanti won't dare look Keisha in the eyes. No, I think Ashanti be a wants that smoke. Man. It's going to be a really good battle. Yeah, yeah I think Keisha just made an, an, another new song to play. That's a hit. <laughs> Like you got to keep working now. <laughs> nah, don't give us no new music. We want yeah, all the old yeah, hits. Yeah. Not the when is somebody? When is Bobby Brown gonna have a versus? That's a good question. Never. Why not? Everyone around him is dying. <laughs> like if you take my kids from me, you take my family. Like, like what do you want me to do? Yeah, like, not, my mind's not there. That's one and two. Nobody's gonna say his name. We said that here. There's a few names they're just gonna skip right by. Bobby Brown's one of them. They gonna act like that he never happened. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're gonna stomp into the dad. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I was just playing your Yo, shit. Yo, Bob. They're gonna try to call him Bob. <laughs> now though, Battle of the Browns. They was talking about Chris Brown and Usher and all this shit. I'm not mad at Chris Brown and Bobby Brown just to do it. See, but I like contrast. Don't tell me about who would win. I, I don't know, care. I know. I'm just a fan of contrast. I feel like that's turning it into something else, but I'm not opposed to it. See, I think that's turning it into like the real party when they say, "All right, we just vibe and we're not battling." Like, yeah. We oh, vibe. then if you're doing that, then I'm Chris Brown, Bobby Brown. Let's do it. That's a party. That's yeah, a party. That's then a party. let's do it. If it's that, then let's do it. Yeah. But and, if it's this and Bobby it is, Brown is probably the only guy that Chris Brown's going to actually respect up there. Chris Brown gonna be up there dancing. Chris Brown's not gonna respect Usher or none of them. He will respect them. Oh, I was okay. But he ain't gonna treat them like respect. You even heard you heard what he said when it, the rumors going around. Yo, who gonna win? Usher, Chris Brown. He was like, Yo, stop putting my name with these niggas. I am me. That's what he said. You can't say that with Usher. <laughs> yeah, Usher's Usher too. He said it though. No doubt. He's supposed you, to though. You you, you can't say it about Usher, and you can't. Oh, and no, I no, can't. No, no. Yeah. Chris Brown said what he said. He's supposed and to. Usher went, went, yeah, I'm not mad at and that. Usher went right back. Yeah, what the weekend said about me? <laughs> <laughs> and what did the weekend do? Uh, <laughs> Here's the climax. Said, nah, nigga, Chris said, hey, Chris said you ain't want no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's keep it on. Let's keep it on that. Yeah. I'm here to get us canceled this year. <laughs> the fuck? Mm. Um, off of verses, though, mm. right? That was enough Word. of verses. There, we was, don't there, have was, no a, there was an announcement. I don't know how true. I think Bun said it in an interview, but UGK versus Eight Ball and MJG. I'm near for that. Mm. It may still be in the rumor mill, but I saw some, some. I'm near for that. I don't know who wins. Don't ask me. That's a party. That's a party. That's a party. I'm not That's watching a the verses without a girl present. That's a party. What? What? <laughs> 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 yeah. Look at Rory. Rory. Go home again. Rory, I think your Wi Fi has COVID too. Nigga gave COVID to the oh, algorithm. Me, <laughs> How you gave it to the algorithm? When are you back in? Like, tell Rory Hive. Because they're not even watching while you're not here. Ooh, the power. <laughs> All right, come on. What else is going on? We are done with. We are done with versus. Uh oh. Hey. No music. See, and that's why I need Rory here with me. Not just new music. Oh, jazz. Not just new jazz music. She looks great. <laughs> she does. She looks she does. great. I told Park soon as we was watching uh, NPR. Yeah, Tiny Desk. Yeah, she you looks great. <laughs> Yo. She smoked that Tiny Desk. All right, before we get to Jasmine Sullivan, <laughs> Lizzo looks great too, and nobody wants to talk about it. Who? I haven't like seen she's Lizzo. Losing, she's lost a lot of weight. And I, I don't seen mean a... to trigger the people that are angered by that. Who's this? Lizzo. Oh, people are she? angered by Lizzo losing weight? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, what? I don't know anymore. I just don't know. What, well, you know, Lizzo. I don't know what's offensive anymore. You know, it's not offensive, but Lizzo always stood on the 
uh, embrace your body for the bigger women type of thing. Okay. So now when you see her losing weight, the bigger women that maybe are not trying to are like, whoa, I thought you was rapping plus. I don't know. I can't speak to her. I'm just telling you. Okay. You seen that? You looking at it now? Glued, yeah, you can find it. Glued to your phone right now, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> Damn, not. nigga will not, he look, right he will not, not look, look up, right? I'm not looking for that. Why don't you tell the audience what you're looking at over there? I'm not looking for that. Why don't nah. you tell the audience what you was talking about? Ah, I just saw a picture of Meg. I said she looks great. She looks good. Like, she does. She like working out. She always looks great. Yeah. That's not what you said. You said, yo, am I horny? Or I'm snitching in this. This year, we're going to get this pod to where it needs to be. That's not you what said, I said. You said, yo. Uh, I didn't say that. Uh, where I said that at? I hate when you, you think of a good lie on a dude and then he slammed down the reverse. Yeah, I didn't say that. <laughs> she said she looks good. Reverse in the lie. Look at her. Looks great. Meg looks great. She's on that. Must be one of those diets the girls are taking. The uh-huh. girls are taking. Yeah, just working the out. Girls just make up diets. I'm on a water diet. 14 days of just water. I'm like, you're gonna die, bitch. <laughs> 14 days of just water. <laughs> you, you is crazy. Get, you should get some protein. <laughs> <laughs> Eat a steak. It, 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 you need some. At least a little bread. Yo, Queen Jasmine Sullivan dropped when no one else was dropping. Mm-hmm. Also, now if you're up and coming, let me be the I first the to tell you. I love the title album too. Um. Oh yeah. Well, we're gonna get into that part yeah. too. Also, if you're an up and coming. Uh, Creator, artist, aspiring, anything, you're probably wondering when the industry will open up again. I'm here to tell you that the industry is going to tell you that they opened, uh, they're opening Monday. I'm also here to tell you they're, they're, not. they're lying <laughs> to you. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've heard at least 10 different executives or just people that work with and at labels say, oh, yeah, Monday, we We're should back. be back. I'm answering my emails. I'll get right back to you. And I'm in my head like, ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably a week or two early with that one. Uh, but we did get new music. Jasmine Sullivan, uh, somebody that all of us here champion. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, dropped a new EP. She made sure to let us know it was an EP. She said, please do not call this an album. Don't offend me. Don't insult me. This is not that. What is the difference? This is 28 minutes of music. Okay. And I'm still old school to go by the old school meaning of it. Now I just changed the time frame. So if the EP used to be anything under 40 minutes, now I'm assuming it's anything under 30. For me, gotcha. personally. Gotcha. That's, that's not Makes the sense. billboard ass cap. Right. Labely universal rules. It's all the same shit to me. Unless it's like three songs or five songs, I would call that an EP. But if you got more than four like seven, eight, nine, 13 songs. tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's, this, that's well, album, well, this is where that comes into play for me. I immediately purchased this project. It does matter for me if it's labeled as an EPLP. When I purchased Jasmine's new project, it said 14 tracks, but half of them were interludes of just women speaking. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess to put the project together and, mm-hmm. you know, do the whole cohesive match the title thing. Sure. Uh, if that happened on an album, I would have killed this album. Sure. I would have destroyed <clears throat> this project. Because when you say album to me, I want enough music, actual music, to consist of a body of work. Yeah, if it's 14 songs and five of them are interludes, then yeah, it's still probably easy. See, for me, me, this goes like, listen, for sure. when, you, when you're putting your album out, you know the label, your A&R is going to come say, hey, what, whatever they call it, one song needs to be unrevealed a week leading up to... Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... I buy all those songs. So Jasmine put out two songs, three songs. Uh-huh. I purchased them all. Then you buy the album. The songs you purchased earlier don't show up in your album. And it's just a mess. Mm-hmm. It's just a mess. That's all. Uh, for, on an EP, I'm not mad. Right. No, I had the songs I had already, so I don't count them as new when I get the project. I get the project. I love the features. Mm-hmm. I love the songs I didn't hear. And there's a bunch of interludes that make this make sense. I'm pleased. Right. No that's enough for me. I like short albums though, or EPs. I do too. Fuck you want to call me it. Me too. Like, I do too. But this is this is Jasmine. This is somebody that an uh, artist that we trust. Yeah. And it's not going to take us long. Once she puts something out, and we be, ten minutes of listening to it, we know okay, she got it right. Mm-hmm. And she definitely got this right. Yeah. It sounded really I, good. I love I love the interludes too to the title. Like yeah, I wasn't too. mad at at interludes being part of an EP in a new type of way. When you're calling the shit hotels and each interlude is a different perspective on what we deem a woman to be a hoe as, I think it's perfect. And we love Jasmine Sullivan for hurt Jasmine Sullivan and break up Jasmine Sullivan. Nah, she fucking on this album. And I think it's amazing. 
I just don't think that the artist today, let me not talk to the artist today. I just don't think that stories sell the way that they once did. I'll say that. Stories as far as in the music? That, albums. Like when your album is a story. Oh, like a whole okay. concept album? Yeah, I just think that's, I think the fans today, they're just microwave, just we care about the songs and, and that's it. Yeah. Like I love these interludes too. I did. I thought it was a great job. Oh, while I'm on this topic, uh, really brief sidebar. Because the artist, hey, that's back to my artist point. Tory Lanez put his first album out, was doing all that interlude shit, and we treated him like Trey Songs on the remix of the Power theme song. <laughs> we was like, yo, fam, what are you doing? <laughs> yo, don't do this again. And he came back, and he didn't do it. LMA. Mm -hmm. I don't know if someone has told you but stop it. What's she doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to say, what did what LMA do? LMA only makes the greatest songs ever and then talks on the end of every uh, one of them for three minutes about she, shit. She, she's trying to give us none a sexy us, accent. None of us <laughs> give a fuck about it. She's just trying to show us a sexy accent, that's all. All right, stay right there for a minute. Let's Has see. she put out something recently? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't. And she didn't talk on it, but that was what she did on her album. Yeah. yeah like mm -hmm. She wouldn't put the single out and talk all at the end of it. Right. See, I don't mind when interludes are like that, though, when it's part of the song. I don't like when the interlude is like a whole song, so you think you're getting 19 songs, but it's really only 12 songs, and there's right. bad interludes. It's weird. Put it where I can skip it. Put it at the end of the song so I can skip it. Fam, fam. Hold up. Just listen. Beautiful song. This is close. Mm -hmm. LMA. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I played a remake with uh, BJ the Chicago Kid. YouTube, we jamming right now. Just vibe out. Look. Look, you got a little bitty over. You jamming. You got your LEDs on. This is playing on a playlist. Oh, she let the hook rock. Come on. Don't do that. Don't let it. Just get to. Here we go. Accent's nice, though. <laughs> you I would like to hear this if I had a little Malbec. You know what I mean? A little... A little <laughs> and then Shiraz. Yeah, little, uh -huh. yeah, you know what I mean? A little Tim Hortons. A little cab. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, let me, let me put that on a little cab. You know, why not? Fuck it. <laughs> Malbec. Yeah. I'm not mad at some spoken word, man. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what'd you Fox, say, Rory? I'm not mad at some spoken word. We let her get it off all the time, and we love it. Yeah. Ella that, can't get her shit off? Fam, I'm not going to let you do that to her. Her has bars. Her definitely has bars. She be killing when when she get to talking. Corday might as well be spitting. Like reason yeah, might nah. as well. She goes. She she should be in Dreamville. No, I'll be honest. If I, if I'm Wale, I feel a way about her when she get on her spoken word shit. I thought that hers verse on the uh, what was that? Was that uh, the Lord is coming? Whatever verse she put on the beginning. Of, I thought that was a contender for verse of the year. That's mm. how I feel about when she does that. It's Lauren esque. Sure. Oh, yeah, she has a certain message. She definitely puts but she in hits it home, word. though. Yeah. She hits it home, though. She's yeah. like, girl, Talib, right? <laughs> <laughs> Lyrics stuck to your ribs. <laughs> Show is Her an idiot. definitely sticks this to my Right at the end of it, right? No. <laughs> no. 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 All right. My bad. Um, what were we on? Jasmine Sullivan. Listen, the, the title of this album is Hotels. Love it. Why am I so stupid that I didn't know this album would be about Tales from Holes? Honestly, <laughs> what the fuck you thought it was gonna yeah, be? What you about? It was right there. They always trick me with the e a u x. Uh, oh, the, 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 the spelling of it. <laughs> nah, <laughs> Make yeah. it a little French. Uh, it's, a, it's a New Orleans thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not from New Orleans. You're not. Well, you like New Orleans. <laughs> I thought it was. I London. love New Orleans. <laughs> I, thought was, I thought it was a London thing. <laughs> I'm like they spell that really it's weird French. over there. It's French. They're they French. probably do it in Montreal. Too. Wait, they're French New Orleans. Yes. Yes. Yes, Joe. Creole is the French. French. The French Quarter. The French Quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Are they New Orleans in France? Probably. Maybe. Stump. Stump. Got you. That's where you got it. <laughs> you flipped it. You found it. <laughs> <laughs> Stump the geniuses. Uh, Shark Tank who? <laughs> Shut up, Rory. I like when the, I like when the people stunk the, stump the sharks. Hmm. Take that, Kevin, whatever his name is. He always Mr. got an Wonderful? attitude. Though. There's always a nigga that's grumpy. Yeah. Why is he always so grumpy? You're rich. That's my guy. 
I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, back to this. Hotels. Great what, project. Uh, Parks, you were telling me about the performance on NPR? Oh, yeah. The, they did a tiny desk, and it was it was great. It yeah. was great. Jasmine looks good, sounds great. Yeah, brought her out. The band. Yeah. With the band. Band sounded real good. Backup singer sounded good. And I like how the, uh, NPR shifted the, the tiny desk to do your own thing and send it to us. Mm-hmm. Rory, I'm going to play a song of Jasmine's new album that, for a lyric breakdown. This song is called On It featuring Ari Lennox. It's an amazing record. Have you heard it? It is. Yes, of course. Before I play it, shout out to Cardiac. You gentlemen have heard it as well. Cardiac yeah. did this one too, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. That damn Cardiac. He's moving, man. What a guy. Yeah. I love him. Me too. That's the, see, now he's somebody that moved to L.A. and I, it worked. <laughs> he got popping. He stayed hungry. Yeah. He stayed it hungry. worked. Yeah. Yeah. I see what, what he's doing out there mm-hmm. yeah. and why he went. The mm-hmm. vision is... He's, he's body and shit. The vision is crystallized for me. That wasn't... Re- those opportunities didn't present themselves in New York. Stay hungry. Uh, Shout no out to Cardiac, are. man. You yeah, are sure. all of my favorite R&B joints. I'm still not off of damage uh, by her. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's... Easy so Cardiac is joints. doing great. Y'all have heard this record too, I'm assuming. My, yeah. quest, my question to y'all, walk with me here. Um... I have some thoughts. Jasmine too. Sullivan is one of the greatest vocalists on the planet Absolutely. currently, is my opinion. Absolutely. Sure. Big big facts. Okay. She got Ariana beat by a little bit. <laughs> I'm, not doing, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not doing this with you right now. But Jasmine's been on that list for me. Yeah. Um, Ari, I don't have there today, right? It's your opinion. Yeah, of course. Yet somehow. They're very talented vocalist 1000 percent, and is in that conversation for sure that's an opinion but what i want to talk to you about is i guess cadence and presence from r&b vocalists Mm. ari goes first on this record Mm -hmm. and smoked this but she gave me some of what guru uh gangstar guru gives me and it don't matter if Nas is on the song with him Guru's voice is Guru's voice, Mm -hmm. and his cadence and tone is just going to always overwhelm. So he's going to always sound at home. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's what that's that's why Ari is so dope to me because not only can she sing for real, she has such an interesting tone that no one else has. You can't get her confused with anyone else. So her presence on a record is much different than a traditional vocalist. And she's I, I our, it's the raspiness in her voice. It's just a different tone that separates her from other vocalists to me. And she's our black aunt that's younger than us. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that persona helps for me. I like the yeah, black definitely some music differently. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I like that you have some of that mothering auntie shit in you. But like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jasmine came on on the second verse and it seemed like she wasn't trying to play no games Yet it was a perfect marriage of Ari's cadence and Jasmine's just like ability. Did you take that from this at all? Yeah, very much so. I I hate the juxtaposition shit that we always talk about or I always talk about on this podcast. What does that mean? Two tones together are perfect. And I can't hear y'all when I speak. So it's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, but no, they make sense to me because they have two completely different tones, but can actually sing. So, mm. yeah, no, I, I took the same thing. Got it. Got it. What did you think of, should I just play it? Yeah. Well, I want to get into the, the second line of the first, which I guess would be the chorus at this point. Before, Can't go wrong with before that guitar I keep, tone. Before I, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. It told you what it is. Fazy, reverby, electric. It told you what was about to yeah, happen yeah, yeah. from yeah. the jump. That's nice. <laughs> Yo, but listen, there's this string. I know y'all think I'm joking on the on, when I be saying it. Like I keep saying, when Drake album come out, I don't want to sleep alone. Like there's gonna be a, a flurry of music. <laughs> I don't want to sleep alone. <laughs> What's wrong with him, man? Sleep alone. He's, he's, he's 40 years old, man. <laughs> so he don't want to sleep alone once Drake drops. What are you talking about? Come Go on, sleep with Drake. What the, fuck, what the fuck is he talking about? Oh my god. But why is that so funny to y'all? That's hilarious. But, but can, can somebody explain to me why? 
<laughs> that you say when Drake drops, you don't want to sleep alone? <laughs> <laughs> We, you should be stoned to death for saying some <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> yes, Drake hates sleeping alone too. We got it. I, I know. I see what you were trying to tie and correlate. What if he gives us a whole album of Lord knows? <laughs> Joe's gonna have a <laughs> sleepless nights. This is a public service announcement to our YouTube, Instagram oh. comment section. Though I am an introverted recluse, I am now in search of new friends. <laughs> Support. And someone to sleep with, preferably. Yeah, yeah. A friend to sleep with. Yeah, a friend to sleep with. Isn't that Just, the best? Yeah, the oh, God. Oh, Great man. times. Great times. Greatest ever. Yo, why do y'all make a mockery out of everything I say? You just I'm not say, talking not about everything you say. I'm not that talking about that that Drake's album. <laughs> that just makes me sound like a fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> why are y'all like just like? Why do y'all persist on making me come off like a fruitcake? No, it just was. It just was funny was the way you said it. Oh, yeah, so. We don't do anything. Yeah, fruitcake is offensive to fruit, so you can't do that. Yes, and Lord and, knows we don't want to upset the. I grapes. was saying that. <laughs> oh my God. Pound cake. I stay with the pound and cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you can't sleep alone with. You just can't understand it. It's like I can't sleep after hearing that. <laughs> that bar is so trash. <laughs> oh my God. Why did I think that would resonate in 2000? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Why did I think they would say, ah, ah. <laughs> I see how he did that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pound is a uh, all right. Yeah, I, I got a it. few fails. I get it's it. Fine. It's okay. It's, it's fine. Okay. Listen, we don't win them all. Yeah, no. Jordan didn't <laughs> make every <laughs> shot. That's a fact. Holy That's man. a fact. He didn't make every shot. Um, well, <laughs> I don't remember what I was. Oh, I'm talking about just the certified lover boy title. Mm -hmm. uh, what y'all look like? Fucking just riding around trying to be hardcore, listening to certified lover boy. Hey, they still in the bombs, too. They won't leave. <laughs> <laughs> they will not. Nah, why? Would the, you? <laughs> Every, <laughs> everything on the boy. <laughs> I'm not going home. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Fuck am I going? I'm, I'm leaving with Healy. Hey, when the, when the card cut off, let me know. I'm hey, out. <laughs> no, no one that is currently in the Bahamas are being pictured together. No. They're doing, they're doing a great they job. They're doing a great job of that. Smooth. Whoever's on top of you that, know, he's doing a great they job. They are smooth. Yeah. My, out there, my, man. my cousin, whose son does the Rory and Maul drop, was in the Bahamas <laughs> last week and said, "Fam, I just, I just go to the bar now. Like, there's just a card that says Drake. I, I'm not with him. I just got <laughs> to be saw him. here. You got it. <laughs> so I haven't paid for a thing yet. Look at Drake. Oh, Look at the generosity. Yo. Yeah. Taking care of Rory's it's, cousin. It's 2021. I'll, I'll, I'll just share some funny shit. Sometimes you see that shit and be like, man, <laughs> I should go bump into one of you niggas. <laughs> I should go fuck your whole rich nigga party up. Oh, shit, Joe. <laughs> yeah, what Joe do? Yeah, what? Oh, you still here? I just seen you last yeah, week. Yeah, nah, still there. I didn't know you were still, you know nah, what I mean? Boat still docked. Yeah, still there. Still, the boat. still, still there. How about you? I know, nah, yeah, man. My flight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my flight getting out of here around. <laughs> oh, you here too? Yeah, fam. I've only been posting for two weeks. Yo, that's the that's, that's the dangerous thing about like about uh fronting on the level up like, on the level up. Like you'll get around some nigga like your front worked, and now it's like <laughs> I'm poor. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm no one. <laughs> I'm a loser. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Though. Oh, yeah, look, look. They were playing some little game out there that I'm, I'm too poor to play. Uh, looks like poker. Hold them, maybe. Okay. Looks like a little hold them. Could be wrong. And this is Drake, Meek, Meek's Millionaire, Buddies, uh, Lil, Baby's Lil Baby, and other people that I don't recognize, but they look to be having a blast. That looks like a great time, man. That's I get so happy to see young that. success. What? Gambling? Hold them. Oh, me neither. Yeah, I was never big on that. Me neither. I like rolling dice, though. So. No, I'm cool. I feel some type of way you walk away with my stacks. <laughs> but not for real money. Like, a little couple well, was, no dollars. No real money on that oh, table. I know, I know. Yeah. No, I can't. But I guess if you have a, like a lot, a lot of money, it's a little different. You get to a point as you yeah. age Yeah, that you gamble with spades, right? I don't think that's a gamble at all. I'm, be I'm better than everybody. <laughs> Wait, where's the gamble? Well, that's how that's how they feel. That, it, uh, that's, that's, poker. that's free money. Who wants who wants play spades? YouTube commenters. <laughs> I'm looking for friends and rich spade players. 
Yeah, I don't necessarily look at that as a gamble. But Spades is a little bit more um, skill. I mean, poker and all that shit is a skill too. But Spades, when it comes to gambling, is more element, elementary. Yeah. Like, let's just have some yeah. fun. The cards yeah. go mm-hmm. like some of us are better than others. But when you start talking about like pinochle and the different types of pokers and like, yeah, that gets a little too different. Yeah. Blackjack's fun too. Blackjack some fun can be shit. fun. But like I the guy at the Jack. poker table, the guy with the most money has an advantage. And that's not the case in spades. Right. Yeah. And they're usually the best poker player. That sucks. Yeah. That's a hard combo. Yeah, it is. Don't be the best and have money. Yeah. Yo, fam, well, every single movie I saw about people breaking into the White House or the Capitol, it was tough to do. <laughs> <laughs> not in real life. Did they y'all walk right in there, bitch? <laughs> not in real life. Cops just opened the gates. Go yeah. ahead. Did anybody see White House Down? Did I have the only version of that? <laughs> so I've seen it. Fan, they made the food truck blow up. I was in bed blown away. Oh, <laughs> well, I the did. White House and the Capitol are different. I had yeah, yeah, no very idea. Different. The I don't food think they would have got away with that bomb. shit at the White House. No. No. Definitely not. Listen to what you repeat that ten times I to know. yourself. I know. <laughs> no. I, know. I don't think that's just would've... the times we're in right now. We got to compare breaking into the Capitol or the yeah. White House. That's where we're at. It's a slightly different game, I think. Yeah. That's where we're at. Fam, they won't even let me sightsee in D.C. <laughs> no. Can't get anywhere near the gate. I might have had to we give my to social stadium. security number to get in the African American Museum up yeah. here. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is in White House down, they needed to blow up a food truck <laughs> for, for these things. They needed 9 million Asians. It took mad of them niggas to do this. Yeah. They had to kill people. This wasn't as simple as a yo, pardon me. Yeah. Can you open that gate, sir? <laughs> yo, let me, let me get right there. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'll just climb the, I'll climb the wall. <laughs> yo, what time you get off? <laughs> they was chit-chatting. They took a selfie. Yeah, yeah. 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 See, for me, this, the, the white on white selfie is the new Confederate flag. <laughs> so, Don't be too y'all white to the same selfie. <laughs> yeah, I just got to go use the bathroom. Oh, him too. He, yeah, he's with me. <laughs> It's like a slap in the face because for the last however many years, well, first of all, it's a slap in the face because Breonna Taylor was murdered while she was peacefully asleep after a long day of work with her Word. significant other in the house. Word. That's not falling on me. Mm-hmm. Sandra Bland made a U-turn still. Mm-hmm. A U-turn still. You know how many U-turns I've made? Like, that doesn't fall on me. Mm-hmm. Look what white people have to do here to get shot. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it wasn't a lot of shooting. Rest in peace to... <clears throat> Rest in peace to that terrorist. Yeah. And, and, and prayers and condolences to her family. Still, because that's who I am. Yeah. yeah. But just look what had to happen. Hey, hey, hey. Anyway. Let's, anyway. Let's, let's get back to Yeah, to, you were to breaking to down the lyrics. It. Yeah, here. I was ready to just break down Ari and Jasmine <laughs> saying, I'll spit on it. Like, I don't know where y'all took us. With. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about that boy. I was just saying, in the last few years, all of the courageous pictures we've seen of black and brown boys, girls, men and women standing up in the face of um, just American terrorism and just all of this nasty shit. Like the, the picture of that beautiful, strong black woman that seemed to be unfazed when she was standing in front of troops. I think that was mm-hmm. in wherever that was. It's been too many catastrophes to remember them all. Mm-hmm. Uh, the picture of the guy that was throwing back the grenade, the flash bomb when they threw mm-hmm. it at him. Like all of those pictures are, are fucking... It was a lot of really Historic, powerful images from powerful yeah. monumental. Some of them made it some of them made it to the cover of magazines. Absolutely. So when white people they eat when so when the evil whites do the evil white shit and then get to take pictures, selfies with the other evil whites that work for the evil whites. Evil white. yeah, <laughs> yeah, like it's like that's the Confederate flag to me. Yeah. Mm. Like cool that y'all have the Confederate flag in the Capitol just parading it around. That's cool. No. It's cool that y'all hung up no, the sir. noose outside. No, because, sir. I mean, yeah, all of that's familiar. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's all I've ever lived in. So, mm-hmm. I mean, that's all I know the evil whites to do. Yeah. Selfies is new. <laughs> it's a new yeah, slap. Like, oh, oh it's and new, that's it's, it's, it's a new slap in the face. Yeah. yeah. That's all. Now. <laughs> so back to these beautiful guitars. <laughs> <laughs> Romance. Do y'all play music when y'all fucking? Yeah. Uh, anything The TV could be on It could be a shootout In Delhi I wouldn't give a fuck <laughs> <laughs> Give a fuck What's playing 
You specifically <laughs> no, fast forward I'm, to the shootout? Shoot yeah. <laughs> no way, but no I'm fucks to the town. <laughs> <laughs> American gangster. I'm with him. I'm, I'm I'm with him on this. But sometimes the awkward moment comes where you just fucking to bullets, uh, gunshots on the town, and then the young lady, while she's doing whatever she's doing, mm-hmm. uh, mounting you mm-hmm. and pleasuring you, she say, "Can you put something else on?" <laughs> Do you have a playlist? No, I don't know where the remote is. <laughs> do, do you have a speaker in here? Yo, one time a girl said that to me. I put on my d- dual connecting boses in the room. She sounded like I was DJ SNS. She was like, nigga, you had <laughs> Wait, you been had this over here? You had and this we've, been fuck, we've been fucking the law and order. Like, if you don't play some scissor. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, anyway. Do you believe that some women can make you uh, orgasm without touching you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I'm going to need a little. I'm not little saying action. I don't. It hasn't, it hasn't happened. I do. Yet. Oh, okay. I'm not going to say it's impossible. It hasn't Thank happened you. yet. Think, That's think greater of queens. No, no. I'm not saying yeah. I wouldn't. But it just hasn't happened yet. She got some good ass uh, pussy. Uh, she makes you go without touching you. Listen to how stupid men are. <laughs> <laughs> yo, listen to what he just said. <laughs> yo, you, you know, got to have I, some good ass pussy. <laughs> you know, yo, make me come without touching me. Without touching me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, I, it better be. It better be. But Or maybe not. But why does it have to be? Yeah, you're right. I don't know. If you can make me come without touching me, why does your pussy have to be fire? That's good birth control. Okay, without her touching you well, and like without you touching yourself too. yo sometimes don't you want to re- report back to the chick about your comparative analysis between her vagina and another's you're gonna get shot mm-hmm. alright see now you're walking a <laughs> now, dangerous line this buddy. is why you got stabbed I'm yeah, asking see, you this is why, it wasn't <laughs> tolerable that did it I'm it asking, wasn't tolerable that did it it was this fam that's simple research and development <laughs> yeah I know, I know. research the closest hospital Do that's R&D on the place. fam that's comparing data I know Compare the data how long these stitches going to take to come out. You guys, it's a secret. There's no girls in here. I'm asking you guys. <laughs> Ask us what? No. <laughs> the fuck I just asked you? Yeah, compare, compare internally. Yeah. No. Internally. You yeah. do. I but wouldn't bring it to her. You might run it by a team or no, something. But, see, know, but, that's what, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying internally you might tell yourself the truth. Yeah. Somehow you are bringing it to her. The chick with the whacker of the vajayjays. Mm-hmm. Somehow you letting her know. Yeah, when you just stop. Fucking with her. <laughs> yeah. That's how you let her know. But then it looks like you've ghosted and you're inconsiderate and you're all these things. Yeah. And really the truth of it is, no, nah, this was a very logical decision. If you felt that, mm-hmm. you wouldn't want to feel that. Right. <laughs> right? Fuck up. Yeah. This conversation's intolerable. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is there a rewind button on it? Oh my God. Oh, dude, just relax, relax. <laughs> oh, this is gross. What's it? I think Joe's catching an O on the fucking oh. pod. Oh. Say it in past tense. Say sat. <laughs> oh. oh, this is fucking disgusting. <laughs> all right, all right, fine. This is not the moan room. That's my friend, buddy. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Protect her, Rory. Protect her. I hate that line. I do too. Tell me why you deserve, you deserve it. it. I I don't deserve it, but you want you want me to beat, and I want to beat. So shut up. <laughs> I don't even want to be. You want to fuck me? You're asking to sit here. <laughs> this is not That's even. A fact. This that is not is a good point. You're asking me to provide a service. This is not even a chair. Now right. you want <laughs> now you want a dual lap. You yeah. want you want me to be a Swiss Army knife or some shit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that line. We got. I think that line just makes women feel a little better before they perform that act. Like tell lie me to what, me and tell me yeah, why you deserve it. Tell me why you deserve it is like them getting their kinky shit off. Like you know, yeah, that, you know, all. you know, he cheated all week and doesn't deserve a thing. But you know, you know, I deserve nothing. <laughs> I'm a black man in America. <laughs> That's true. I could see why a chick would want you to put some music on. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, don't. they don't want me to put shit on. You ask me, do I fuck it? They, 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 don't, they, don't, they don't want music That's going. Where he goes. You, you ask me, do I put music on? No. Mo, stick with the gunshots. <laughs> yeah, God damn it. I'm just saying. That, they, can't, they can't argue that. Yeah, whoa. Yeah, they can't argue that. <laughs> Aggressive. Yeah, I deserve it. Reparations. Oh. <sighs> 
Stop. <laughs> you are gross. I'm gross. She wants to sit on a penis, but I'm gross. <laughs> a penis. There's nothing wrong with her wanting to do that. That's what I'm saying, and you're calling me gross for it. Your your moans. Yeah, Yo, you know what's corny too, <laughs> man. I think. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just. I'm waiting. No, 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 no. <laughs> Tell. Let, let me hear. No, because I'm listening to this, right? Huh? What? What? No. Let me look who's in the audience. Oh, this ain't even. <laughs> <laughs> look, muscle memory. <laughs> let me see who out here. Let me see who out here. <laughs> Yo, let me see what's going. <laughs> yeah, what can I scroll? Because yeah. <laughs> this is because this is what I don't like. Yeah. And judge me not, but like. They put on this beautiful music, these beautiful guitars, these beautiful songstresses, and they talk about all these things. That they, I want to say, you're going to feel great, nigga. All this shit, <laughs> right? And it's triggering. It was a great cover. Yeah, I think that was it. I think I, those were the words. That wasn't it. It's fine. But like, you know when I asked y'all about losing your favorite uh, penis sucker? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about the girl? Shut up, Scream Man. <laughs> Look, that nigga don't know what to put on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Look, ain't shit up there. What about the girl that comes over and just dominates and leaves? Oh, man, she's a gem. That's what I'm saying, Maul. Yeah, so this song is reminding me of them because, like, they talking about getting in their bag. Yeah, basically making you squirm and What and happens when you alone? lose that one, the one that just knows your body? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, save yeah, on. Yeah, hey, yeah. come just yeah, you over here, man. Yeah. I know, they don't no, chill, chill. Don't come over, here. right? <laughs> she know your body better than them bitches, right? She get to the spot without you even asking, directing, and she then my energy. and then once you realize it's that, oh man, who's an audience? <laughs> <laughs> Who's in the audience no. is hilarious. <laughs> y'all. Because I'm saying, once things might maybe go awry, right? Mm-hmm. Like, the bullshit is when she'll let you beat again, but she won't dominate your body the way that you're used to. Like, she won't. Oh, yeah, she'll give you that. You don't even deserve this no more. Yeah, and that's what this line is bringing me to. So it's triggering like it is for Rory. But don't do that, yo. Like, if you're not going to give me what you, you always giving me, don't, that just, I'd rather not do anything with you. Yeah. Like, don't switch it up. Yeah. <laughs> don't switch right. it up. Speak for yourself. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> that's, Fuck that. Don't switch it up. Something. Nah, don't switch it up. See, that's, do that's, that. that's, 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 that's when you got to tell her that we deserve to share each other. Mm. Fuck a whole shit up. All of this is spoken like, first of all, this is spoken like white mamba, Rory. <laughs> you're great. You don't have to explain yourself. Maul's been great for years. This is spoken like a gentleman that's been thriving in the single life. Mm. Parks loves his girl Damn, and yeah. somehow became a lot cooler when he started fucking with Dominicans. <laughs> um, so, he's, <laughs> so he's awesome too. Don't y'all mislead our audience that way. I'm here to tell you, it ain't really that way for everybody out here in like oh, no, I know single that. world. Like, I know that. There's only but so many no's and standards, and nah, I wouldn't do that to you, and uh, but yeah. then now a couple months done went by. Yeah, dry. So now when she's treating you like, see, they wait till they get you there. Mm-hmm. They wait till they catch you when you're vulnerable. They can see when you're not really popping. You're just posting food, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga ain't going nowhere. You ain't, yeah, he ain't doing that. <laughs> yeah. Then they say, nah, I'm not fucking you like I used to. You get a little taste. That pride shit y'all talking about, it goes out the window if she got good pussy. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, if her pussy is good enough, you're going to want to feel that again. Oh, for sure. Definitely. But just it's just like, damn, but don't. I tried to send somebody a picture of the Bex one time with a picture of the hookah like, yo, miss when we used to do this. She still ain't replied. <laughs> <laughs> she don't miss it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get mad. No. <laughs> it was a lonely night one night yeah, like nah. that. You, t- you can try to go through the people that you fucked good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yo, who might hit back? <laughs> yeah, nah. Yo, yo. <laughs> Remember when we used to? <laughs> Nothing. No response. <laughs> and now you mad that you like, damn, well, I, I was horny while well, I sent that. <laughs> try to unsend. <laughs> <laughs> it's already been seen. It's already it's She over. already got it, yeah. Nah, the fucked up. She's seen it. And she on Insta Live with like eight of her homegirls. Oh, and, yeah. and two niggas with chains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck you with these niggas with chains on. I ain't have chains. I didn't even know she liked niggas with chains. Uh, oh I'm gonna get a chain. I'm gonna get a chain. You start thinking about this shit. I'm gonna get a chain. I need to get it. That's why she ain't hit back. That's why she ain't hit back. I ain't got a chain on. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Joe, Joe walked yeah. into a, a whole different hilarious topic of just how you talk to chicks that you know you laid it down with and chicks that you kind of felt a little indifferent afterwards and how you speak to them and can text them at certain hours. Like, nah, I ain't beat that well. I can't text her at this hour. Yeah. <laughs> no, you definitely know. Men, dead, we always know. We always know. You get some of them get the, yo, stop playing with me. Yeah. That's the ones that you know, like, come on, I'll be tearing your back out. Yeah. And then the ones you be like, yo, you still acting funny. That's the ones where you're not too sure. Like, I don't think I put it down. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I wore high good enough to be talking to her this aggressive. Like, yo, I hate when you do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when you act like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's real though That's real shit You know who you can talk to Aggressive <laughs> The chicks that got good dick for me Oh man Am I the one sentence bandit Now nah, your day was good Word <laughs> <laughs> you on later That's dope <laughs> But but then the ones you didn't You'd be like Yo did you eat Can I send you some food Oh yeah right. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely Mad, mad shit Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gossip shit Did you see the Nikki, <laughs> Nikki followed Ace <laughs> Nikki Yo you seen Nikki followed Ace You know <laughs> Yeah, she follow Milano back yeah, there. Don't do nah, that. That's the one you <laughs> said. The one you don't know if you knock down good enough, you always gotta send the memes first. Like to get a laugh uh, out yeah. of them. Oh, yeah, send yeah, a good yeah. meme uh, through. Loose, warm up. Yeah. Loosen, yeah. loosen up the cooch. <laughs> <laughs> gotta loosen you gotta up the cooch. What a meme. <laughs> what a meme. Yeah, that's how you loosen it up. Send a meme through. Send a good meme. Yo, while we're on this, I've been having a blast with the black guy, black girl memes. Oh it's my gosh, day, it's my, I'm saying. It is my favorite meme in the world. Some of them are real bad. <laughs> oh, Some of them are real true. The Some one. of them are real true. Though. The bad yeah, ones no I skip. Yeah, but the good ones. Now nah, that move to Atlanta one when we both broke. That was hilarious. <laughs> Now you seen That's the one a New I, York love story. You seen the one I posted today. <laughs> Come on. Hey, girl, I'm about to drive by his house. Come on, girl, let's go. Girl, you don't need that nigga. <laughs> girl, just let him go. <laughs> nigga, tan her back out an hour later. <laughs> oh, man. Then that used to be my go-to, too, driving by the crib until your heart got broken. Yeah. Nigga seen, see, see nigga, seen the, <laughs> nigga seen the Hoopers over there. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> like, yo, they just finished playing at the garden. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, no, now I'm watching his schedule. Yeah. When that home when is the home game, nigga? Yo, they don't when got their road the trip. Got, when is the road trip? Yo, all the niggas that let me not just do that. <laughs> <laughs> Look yo, at all Joe the niggas want to get it to your <laughs> No, nah, don't do that. Can't do that. We can't do that. We can't go there. No! No! We can't, we can't no! go there. I want to pod so bad. We can't go there. We can't go there. We can't do that. These niggas signed him again. <laughs> nah, we be, we be needing rebounds, though. No. I can see why they did that. Yeah. 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 We got to clean the offensive glass up a little bit. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Damn, he's, he's staying with the Nets? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I did this nigga will not leave town. I thought he retired. <laughs> Who is the Piston GM? <laughs> <laughs> Trade this nigga to Detroit. <laughs> Somewhere. Oh, my God. Yo. Thought he was going to go overseas. Yo, that. <laughs> That's some funny shit. Yo, speaking of, right, and we not on sports right now. John Wall's faster than everybody. I'm on that nigga's dick again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been talking about the nigga even when he was injured. But now he's back. I've never seen nothing like this before in my entire life. He got that good surgery? No, he's back. Have you seen him? No. Have y'all seen him? Yeah, he's back. He's balling. No, 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 no. Forget if he is balling. That's great. People are planted in defensive stances in front of him. And he goes right by them and looks at them. <laughs> I've never seen nothing like this. Yeah, he's back. Look at the amount of times John Wall gets right to the rack. In slow motion almost and stares at like, Nick, why were you standing in front of me? How could you be that fast off of some type of surgery? Off of two, off of two. Is injuries. he faster than Darren Fox? With the with the ball. Pause. Tell me. Honestly, I'm asking. It's close. It's close. He might be a step. He might be but a step. But if him, listen to that. Darren Fox is what, 23, 24? Yeah, he's yeah. young. He's kidding. This yeah. nigga is 30 something off of surgery. Yeah. And he's a step slower, man. John Wall's that dude, man. He's, he's more. When effective James when Harden get out of Houston, turkey leg hut better look <laughs> out. It is going down. I might meet him there. <laughs> nah, I'm going to go over here see John. <laughs> nah, man. 
Go check out what John and them is doing. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look what we get back to. Look what we get back to. About to pull up. Hey! <laughs> Talk that shit. She called Ari. him a bitch? Yeah. I like that. Nah, don't that. call me no bitch. Man. No. We ain't doing that. Don't call nah. me one because I'm not playing with you. But if, <laughs> yeah. but, if, but if you did, that shit might be kind of all right. <laughs> Depends on how you say it, you know? Oh, man. If I'm you're gonna, offering me some water, I could be into that. Take this water and hydrate, bitch. <laughs> Especially if it's not really water, because if she's saying it and like, no, actually have some water, you little bitch, then yeah, I'm gonna be say mad. You're thirsty, nigga. But if she's thirsty. referring to her vagina, then she is. Here's the thing, and that's Parks, why this is. Is there, is there any way I could call her and it connect? Probably not. <laughs> no. All right. Never mind. No, 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 no. Hopefully, you feel better on Wednesday, and you can call her Wednesday because we're supposed to have Jasmine Wednesday. Well, you could. You could. Okay. <clears throat> you could. Three-way call through one of us. No, I would like to speak to Ari and Jasmine in the same session. It just okay. makes sense. Yeah. All right, we'll do that then. Um, she is talking about her vag- her vagina. Mm-hmm. She is, yes. And I believe that Ari's vagina can hydrate someone. I'm, yeah. yeah, I believe it. I yeah. believe that. I'm gonna stay out of women's business, but yeah. She, I mean, she compared it to the Chesapeake Bay. From my understanding is a pretty big body of water yeah, that is, is very wet. Yeah, it's a lot of so, water. There. I'm going to take her metaphors at for the, what they are. At the Cheesecake Factory. Huh? <laughs> no, the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland oh. and the Cheesecake Factory are not the same thing. Oh. <laughs> definitely not the same. Oh, Chesapeake yeah. is, that, is, is that road stop when you're driving through, right? Yeah. Right over there on the side? On the side. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they could have just said sit on it for the whole song. Yeah, it would have worked. And I would have <laughs> just riffed. And I would have been sold. Yeah. And my, my house would have been a streaming farm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's the only reason it's getting a lyric breakdown. For sit on. Oh, hold up. See, stop. <laughs> See, stop. Because that's not right. Actually, I cut it off too soon. Like, that's not right. I know that's your friend, Rory, but this ain't right that Jasmine tried to do that. That is that is my friend, and I love her dearly. Me too. Her music. Um, no, as a person. Listen to this. <laughs> No, I'd, I'd never, I've never fanned myself before. I had to turn the AC on in the crib after that. <laughs> and you fanned yourself, man. I, fa- I fanned myself <laughs> like a church lady. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. That's not normal control of voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with her? <laughs> no, they're they different. Or Ari? Jasmine. Jasmine. Both of them. <clears throat> I'm no, they just that part. I was Jasmine, about, yeah. But when they got together, even that was the perfect marriage. Like, there's yeah. nothing bad to say about this, but I didn't even know Jasmine could do that with her voice. Like, it's like she oh, tried no, to match. It's no, like she's... she tried to match Ari on the weird tone, but try to. She tried something right there. No, this is a uh, mm-hmm. this is a R and B songstress exercise handbook. Yeah, that that they did. Cause Jasmine, and, we, and we know she's with one of those sexual voices. shit. Yeah, like they're like, having let, fun. Let's add that foot into it too, because yeah. it's tough to do this type of R and B uh, class master class, if you will. Mm-hmm. Talking about sitting on a dick and it sound this beautiful. This is different. <laughs> is what I'm getting at. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I already know where he's going. Give me some bullshit. Yeah, know no, I know, I know where he's going. <laughs> what man? <laughs> 
<laughs> when a chick sits on your dick, <laughs> y'all pump it back. <laughs> That's my move. Y'all pump back. <laughs> Not at first. You gotta, let it get, you gotta let it catch the rhythm. You gotta let it catch the rhythm let first. It, let it get yeah, let it catch the rhythm first. first. <laughs> pump back. And then you gotta let her know I'm, I'm, I'm still alive back nah, here. I'm still try, awake. Nah, I'm Plus, you gotta more. take a little, you know, they might get a little tired up there. So you gotta, if you, you try to pump make, back too fast, though, it could fuck. Yeah, it could. Oh, sure. Just let her catch her rhythm. And then but what if she never catch it? Well, that's, that's when, when you, you gotta take back. over. That's, yeah. when you, that's when you tap her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get up. <laughs> yeah, look out. Yeah, let me go to the store real <laughs> quick. <laughs> Yo, hand me that downstairs. <laughs> I just want you to one more thing. I want to hear Brandy. I want to. I'm, 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 on this? On this album. Hmm. Stop. Mm. Don't do that, Jasmine. Yeah. I want to hear her and Brandy. This was like right out of the Brandy handbook. That little move right there. Mm. I want to hear that. This is shit with Ari. Wait, what? This shit with Ari Which is great. Group? This shit with her is great. You know, I love her. That song is crazy. <clears throat> Here's my thing with this being an EP. What do you have in the tuck for your album? Oh, yeah. I forgot it was an EP. <laughs> <laughs> like, it. if you comfortable letting this rock on the EP front. You're right, Rory. What I the don't, fuck are you holding? This record, that her record, <laughs> it's another record on here. Like, And is, is she coming soon? Like, has she said anywhere that this? Let's see. I wrote Hotels to give a voice to the brother. Oh, way to go screaming. Can you go back, please? I I. I uh, she she said nothing about an album. The album is coming, and it won't take six years. For now, vibe with this, and I'll see you when Corona's over, so we can sing to each other. She's waiting. See, <clears throat> she's waiting. She got music, music in the tuck, waiting for Corona to be over. But when when she started with the first two singles before the her shit, I thought it was an album. So maybe it was an album, and she just said, "Fuck it, let me wait." But. If you comfortable throwing these records with these features on an EP, yeah, I'm terrified of what you what you got in the tuck for an album. Cause this EP is crazy. This EP is 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 album esque. Definitely. I just can't wait to hear it. Congratulations to Jasmine Sullivan on an amazing EP. Her album is gonna go crazy though. Yeah. It's just some people yeah, you so. some people you can just feel it. Like you just know, but yeah, but you like trust you see, the, you see the vibe she in. Yeah, I didn't always. You didn't always trust her As, for good music. I mean, it no, may no, not for, for good music and a good voice. Yes, but like album top album. to bottom. Okay, gotcha. I didn't yeah. always. Gotcha. But yeah, I'm waiting for that. Um, right now, and please, Jasmine, you and Brandy, please. I'm I'm clip riding, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they've they've never worked together. I don't have anything in my I don't Serato. Think so. Jasmine never wrote nothing for Brandy. Wrote well, I don't know about that, that, that seems odd to me. Well, I don't know about writ uh what she may have written. Okay. I want to hear vocals from them both on the same record. Same. While we're on vocals and music, uh <clears throat> I'm seeing I'm seeing little stories about uh a joint with Russ, Lil Baby, and one other person. Boy, that I'm boy excited Wonder about. Produce. Boy, oh, Boy yeah. Wonder produced. Yep, that's out. Yeah, but that's an actual person on the track. But I think it was just them two. No, when, it's, it's when, out. I'm saying when Boy Wonder is producing, I count him as oh, like a personality okay. you, because he's going to produce. I got you. How is record this, is dope. How's this sound? It sounds real good. We just all have to admit we was wrong about Russ. We did that already. Yeah. We did that already. Yeah, but, um, but, but I, we whoa, have to double whoa, down because we were super wrong. Oh, he got the belly blue lights. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Her tongue's a little too short for me, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> tongue shaming. Y'all don't do that? Like, y'all don't... <laughs> <All right>. Tongue <laughs> shaming. <laughs> no, I like the lizard tongue, but, you know, I'm not going to... I don't want to shy away from it. Nah, never. Don't. <laughs> don't. I'm going to shy away from a smaller tongue. Don't put a short tongue on my body. <laughs> no, nah, sometimes you're good with the short tongue. Not really, no. For me. <laughs> I mean, depend the throat. Hmm? Huh? I didn't hear you. It's fine. <laughs> now he cut out. So it's good. the texture, the texture is important. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't hear this record, but shout out to Russ. I do want to hear this. 
I just I just knew that Russ would be one of the people to start the year off getting right to it. Yeah. That's all. I knew that. He moves at his own pace. He does what he wants. I like it. Lil Baby is here and in the Bahamas. Wow, man. He's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just can't be stopped. <laughs> he cannot be stopped. I'm telling you. Uh, what else is going on? What else is happening? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, Trevor Lawrence declared. Oh, yeah. We said that. We last year, a year and a half ago, Who Trevor Lawrence that? is the last one to know that he was going pro. <laughs> he he was the last it. one to know. Hope yeah. he likes Jacksonville. Congratulations. Shit better than the Jets. That's true. Very true. Congratulations to that man. Uh, what else? Is that, whoa, was that new division? Yeah, mm-hmm. new single. Yeah. yeah. Dropped last night. Yo, if they don't highlight the new songs and the artists don't you post that, that time, he had man. the song, mm-hmm. how will I know the song? When I tell y'all I go on my phone and search everything, like yeah, I just search I artists that I love, yeah. how the fuck would I know that this is out? They posted it. And Division had one of the uh, better projects last year, R&B for me. Yeah. I didn't shout by, by I, didn't, I don't know if I shouted him out, but that's important to say. Dumb out. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, I got to check this out. What was that other record that caught up? The Griselda soundtrack. Conflicted oh, for the movie, movie for the yeah. movie, right? Yep. Did any of us here see the movie? No, it's not out. Ball would probably be the one. What does that mean? Privy yeah. to that. Wait, wait, hold up, y'all. What does that mean? And it's not out. That's Savon and Alex. Yeah. yeah. We see things that's not out. See things that's not out, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, see to know, boys. Hey, uh, y'all wait for the release date. Uh, tell us about it. <laughs> <laughs> y'all wait online oh, to cop. Oh, y'all just saw oh, that? that? Oh, that finally man. dropped? Oh, I didn't even know. How was it received? <laughs> 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 oh, while we're in movies, though, Maul brought up a great point when we were off my. Well, let's not leave music, but go ahead. I don't want to leave music. I just want to quickly point out, because it's uh, on topic with us getting off topic, that Maul said he misses the movie theater, and I uh, couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, me too. Man. Me too. I'm, I'm, like, it's I'm the missing that was the a theater. Me and Rem, uh, Saturday special. Yeah. yeah. Saturday, Sunday, yeah. early. Yeah, I was I'm the mad, mad name mobster. What? Yeah. I'm Actually, one the of the last things we did was snuck into a, a movie. And that's where my like my my sauce was on full display. Mm-hmm. Like the movie date. Yeah. Hey, what you want over here, man? Popcorn. Yeah. Goop, the no Yo, done. Let me get that. I mean, the guy back there, John. Hey, yeah. come on, what's up? <laughs> what's up? It's like I'm running a little late. You know, I really like seeing the coming attractions. Like, yeah. I get in my mind. the AMC card and yeah. shit. Like, y'all. Oh, She's like, all right, if you really want to see him, I'll hurry up, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, and I've, uh, I've, I've allegedly seen Joe in action. Joe loved the grab the knee game. Mm. And bring the, the grab the game. knee game in the movies. Oh, yeah, you, can, you can grab a knee or two. He's a bring the blankets guy, too. Allegedly, <laughs> bring the blanket. Bringing a blanket. Nah, to my man AMC ain't bringing no blanket. Nah, to the the nah, man, don't do Joe like that. That's his frock. That's not a blanket. Oh, my bad. See, I see where he's going with it. He just take his frock yeah. off. Uh, gentlemanly. Mean, yeah, now it's a blanket. Oh, y'all used to go to the movie theaters that didn't provide blankets. So. <laughs> oh, nah. <laughs> the, the, I picked them. They'll be it'll be a little crusty. Them blankets be a little hard. I'm cool. like, I know. I don't know. Homie oh, well, was now there's some his. feces on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm cool. Yeah, you no, know, it's definitely. I take that shit nicely. Throw that shit right around that the motherfucker. Fuck out. Nah, it's not, definitely boogers and cum. Yeah, yeah. I'm, but I'm it, cool. But it keep you warm. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool. It does keep it, you warm. No, you're right. You right. That's all I'm saying. Uh, back to music. Back to music. Roy, you were saying. And Joe, don't act like you ain't catch the handy yet. Fucking uh, Jamaica, Jamaica <laughs> Avenue movie theater. I fucked in the Edgewater multiplex. <laughs> Um, anyways, with that said, not, since look, we're look, look, music, wait, no, 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 wait, bro, wait, 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 no, no, slow down, slow down, oh, slow down, slow down. down, everybody stop, just, again, it happened again, I, dart, bullseye, mm-hmm. mm. unfazed, Rory, yeah. no, I, I, you don't I think that was great, you, you, don't you, you don't think that you, was great, no, I, think, I, I think you copped a handy at the Jamaica multiplex, and then you later on fucked in the Edgewater movie theater, I was trying to give you your credit. I was scared of that movie. I couldn't fight back then. Yo, Roy, did you they see have, the Sweetie video? They they have still have metal detectors at that movie. Yeah, I'm not going. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come Roy, on, get Roy, your did shit you off. see the Sweetie video? <laughs> did I see it? <laughs> Yo, Quavo gonna shoot y'all, niggas. Quavo, Quavo's gonna shoot y'all. Why? We just like the video. Great video. I threw that. I threw that video on the bigs, on the big TV, yeah. and and the sound bar. Got to. And I and I put the blinds down. Ooh, a diamondy Tesla. <laughs> you ain't got one of those. 
It's icy, I think. It's a really good video, Roy. Didn't you think? I mean, I, I was really just into um, the camera movements and... I like the colors. You know what? A lot of nice colors. Yeah, great colors. Yeah. Listen. I thought um, I thought uh, the treatment was really good. Yeah. The plot line. Listen, Sweetie is gorgeous. And this video looks great. I have to watch this naked in slow motion at home alone. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully. Yeah, all respectfully. I'm not talking about but sweetie. Look at her friend. She's always the friend. That's Doja. That's Doja? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't fuck with her. <laughs> <laughs> Why she don't look white? She's not white. I ain't talking about her. I'm, not, talking, about? I'm talking about the other one. That's the same one. There's no, only two no, women. No, the one with ass. That's Doja. I'm, sh- I'm sure Doja bought an ass. <laughs> all right, wait. Time out. <laughs> wait till they get out of the Diamond D Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> That's Doja? That's Doja. Yeah. She bought hips? No, she's no, had that. Pr- probably. Oh, no, she fooled me. Uh, she tripped me. Oh, get out of here. Man, who was the makeup? Who was the MUA here? <laughs> we are creeps. You're sick for knowing MUA. <laughs> <laughs> you got to know it. Listen, if all you bitches is so bad, why y'all doing so many makeup tutorials? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. Mm. All right. Forget it. Yo, turn this screen, man. Can you turn this video off, please? <laughs> it's fucking distracting. Um, <laughs> jo- jokes aside, since we on music, that Mac Ayers EP, Magic A Ball, is different. Is it out? Yeah. Came no, out today. I downloaded it. I listened to it. really pissed He sent it to my email. I'm still going to buy it. No, nah, that, that EP is different, different. He's passed. If, if like this Mac is the, the quiet eight we getting yeah. during quarantine, uh, you know that's my guy. Same point with the Jasmine Sullivan shit. What, what you got on the album? Y'all know how I feel about that. Mac, 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 Mac don't drop duds. He no. don't. I'm talking <laughs> about when, like when nobody knew him, and maybe that's I don't know if, how many people know him now, but he don't drop duds. No, he doesn't. No. He, he he always has a good project. Yeah, I fuck with him. All right, good. I'm going to buy this. All right, so no, there's the, some music. The EP, to keep me. EP is really really good. Good, I'm 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 happy about that. I am. Um, is that all in music that we have or that came out? Shit, not uh, no, probably not. I, I'd like shit. I'd like to be there to discuss the Nick the Nikki topic on oh, Tuesday with, with, or uh, Wednesday rather. With Tracy Chapman. Yeah. But the I, verdict, I'd like to do the a verdict, deep dive on that. The verdict was in on that a little while ago, right? Because I feel like we covered that, but then now they finally announced what has to be uh, paid. So when we covered it, we were really happy because the judge said no. And we were like, all right, thank God. Because even when Nikki tweeted, this would be one of the biggest cases in music history. And everyone laughed at her. We were the podcast that said, no, she's right. This could change. Every mixtape artist ever could be sued now. And the judge said no. I don't know if there was an appeal process or something, but Nikki decided that she was going to settle. And I don't know the actual details because, again, this was on page six or some bullshit. So we don't even know if this is real. But it did say that Nikki was settling for $450,000 um, after a judge ruled that Nikki was correct. So we will see. But again, I think we should keep our eyes on this. This is one of the more important copyright trials music has ever had. For sure. I agree. We shall see. Well, what is there for us to keep our eye on? If they, if they start if this targeting is, if people? If this is actually true. Because again, this was page six bullshit. But I could also see her settling just because a, a lengthy court battle might be more expensive. Than she just- was, she was pregnant. Like you settled to get. First of all, I'm gonna assume that a Tracy Chapman sample is expensive from the rip. Yeah. Well, well, Tracy is on uh, what they deem the no sample list. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is which is a big is a big deal if you know you know type thing. Mm-hmm. Tracy's on that. Um. And they did say in the article that that $450,000 was for legal fees that she was basically reimbursing Tracy for. So it wasn't really a payment from what they said. But again, I don't know how true this is. I just do think this is a very important thing that if Nikki is going to settle, I can see a lot of people going, oh, artists will settle on some shit like this where an artist didn't profit but still sampled me. This could get messy. Yeah, uh, I think the ambulance chasers are already in the culture for sure. I think True. this is one of the more high profile cases. They're not all going to go like this. Not at Even all. though um, Slaughterhouse went through this as well, 
uh, when we put out that mixtape with the what was that Juggernauts? But this wasn't even a release song. That's the that's neither, the difference. Neither was that. Well, no, that was released publicly, not on a, a monetizing platform. Yeah, it was a mixtape. This wasn't even put out. Is the is the why? Well, this is Minaj a big didn't deal. release the track in question on her album Queen. She did allegedly leak it to Funkmaster Flex, which led to its circulation online. So it did come out the same way. No, okay. No, well, you let, guys let me let me ask this: if if I am a lawyer and I'm not and I'm stupid, so don't mind me. If anyone profited off that song, it was MS Communications, which owns Hot 97. Right. Why are you suing Nikki? Nikki right. didn't make a fucking dollar off that. Right. Yeah, that, that's the part I don't understand. Why are you suing her? She didn't put it out. She made it. I don't, yeah, care, who, I don't care who played it. You, you made it. The fact that it was played somewhere let me know that it was made. So I have to come for who made it. Yeah, but that's not fair either because in that... Yeah. Someone could get a hold of your vocals and put it over yeah. fucking Michael Jackson, yeah. and then they could sue you. I'm sure there's ways to prove against that. Hey, Your Honor, I didn't make that song. <laughs> yeah, but, but song. Hot 97 Somebody would be the only that. people that would profit off advertising. Nikki didn't profit. She emailed a song to Flex. But it doesn't matter if you profited if you use my music. That's, that's what I'm saying. It don't matter if you profited or not. If I'm Tracy Chapman and I hear my shit in... No, the, I, an I underground radio shack. Hey, Daz has been on the chatty house saying, "Hey, that's that's what I'm on out here." That's and shout I'm, out to, I, to I, Daz, by the way. Oh my yeah. God, I can't wait He's for the Daz so for, the, for the Daz documentary. <laughs> but a lot of people just don't know how successful Daz is behind the scenes. I know because Crook knew when Crook told me. Yeah. But to hear what he's doing and he's saying it, yo, my line is over here. I'm coming for it. My line is over there. I don't care if I know you. I'm coming for it. I own it. I got to get it. That's how we eat. So I mean. Tracy mm-hmm. is on that. I, I won't get mad at it, but I'm on Nikki's side. I'm, I'm just on mad your at side. It's something that's not released and monetized. That's all. I'm on y'all side. I performed. But I mean, how many Tracys are there? That crushes total. No, that crushes the art form of of oh, wait, sampling so, and creating or, or or it protects it. So wait, nah, Tracy Chapman is saying that Nikki asked for permission to sample the song. But went ahead with it anyway when Chapman rejected the request. Of oh, okay. Well, that's a little different. That's that's the difference. That's a little think. different. Yeah. Yeah. If you try to clear it and then you just put it out anyway, that's a little different. And that's how it probably uh, ended up on Tracy's radar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's well, a little different. No, I, I can I can see Nikki. Let me put myself in Nikki's shoes of all right, I have a record with Nas. I love this song. I can no longer put it on my album. Fuck that. The world's gonna hear this. Let me give it to Flex. It's not going to be profited off. I'm not going to make money off it. This is just a pure music love, and for my fans, I get why Nikki would do that. No, you get. I would probably, I would probably do the same thing. No, now, the world's going to hear this. No, Rory would do the same thing, and you can understand why Rory and Joe Budden would do that. Nikki has worked her way to a place where she can do that. Yeah, Nick, Nikki is also a real music lover, from what I understand and know. So I can see her getting a Nas verse. Fuck that. This can't go on my album. We're about to hear me with Nas. Fuck that. And Nas, as someone she was rumored to date at one point. Who can, I'm I'm not, come on, let's, let's not even get that out of here. Nikki is a rapper and I'm a not, queen's I'm chick. I'm not even getting that out of here. I, I would not feature. expect for someone that I dated in my past to come for me. Like, that's totally different than Tracy Chapman. Why do you keep comparing it to? You wouldn't expect for somebody that you dated in your past to come for you? Yeah. You like see it, that all the time. But Nas, but Nas didn't. I'm just talking about me. Oh. We see I'm, that I'm the talking time. about. Talk about? <laughs> I'm talking about Nikki, the rapper from Queens, to have a Nas feature. Yo, one day I'm gonna get a good girl. Fuck the dating shit. <laughs> I'm gonna get a good girl one of these days. Nah, don't Fuck give up. Rory. Fight the fight. I'm Joe. Bro, more than here trigger me now. Fight the fight. <laughs> fight the fight. Anyway, what were you saying? But yeah, you should not be able to sue people for. I don't know if I if y'all heard. I didn't hear the last one. I can't hear. No, I was saying not that. Like, fuck the the Dayton rumors because that's that's corny. I'm oh, talking you just about just Nikki the rapper. Got it, got it, got it, got it. That that would have a Nas feature as just a Queens rapper. But like, Nas is fuck, not I have this on and I can't that. Put it on my album. But Nas is not on that list that you spoke of. Is what I'm saying. Forget the Dayton bullshit. Nas isn't on the. There's a few people we heard about coming in. They told me about Prince. My mm-hmm. whole career. Yeah. Joe, uh, Joe, you're missing the Chuck point. D. Nas was Nas yeah. was a feature on the song. Okay. Not, he wasn't sampled. I got a Nas verse. I'm a Queens rapper. It can't go on my album. I want the world to hear it. But if it's that, if that's the case, I could t- remove the sample. Yeah, I'm not removing the Nas verse. Yeah, I would tell somebody to interpolate 
The sample. Yeah. Yo, you and I. Don't you don't, me? Don't tell the world about replaying. Don't snitch. <laughs> Why? That's a that's a valid thing to do. It's the law. We yeah. can do, we can do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Until they change the law. Right. Uh, until Marvin Gaye's family gets a hold of it. Oh, well, Marvin now you Gaye's Trump. family didn't make the law. Yeah. <laughs> do you think you think Tracy yes, Chapman yes, would have caught did. that if if Nicki never asked? Uh, it depends on how blatant the sample was. Nikki, a Nikki song is gonna pass her radar though. Yeah. It's not. We're not it's, talking. It's about, Nikki. Yeah, we're not no, talking about that, an underground I'm, artist. Cause I, I, I had, I don't, I, I don't think I heard the record. Me neither. I didn't either. So I don't even know if I would pick up on that. But, but if, if I, if someone sampled if, my shit, if she shit, sampled my name or yeah. you know, my voice or I would have heard, yeah. heard it. Someone would have tagged me. In oh that yeah, shit, yeah. If, if she sampled her voice, <laughs> you know, that's some, different. Yeah, somebody, yeah. somebody would hit me. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't feel like I understand the importance of this case, but I don't feel like this is going to have a ripple effect to all the lesser known artists. It's mad of us yeah, still sneaking a, the sample out this there. This is an A-list artist. So. Yeah, this is an A-list uh, artist type of beef. Sampling an A-list even, artist. Okay. Even, right, hey, right. even when you settle for half a mil, it's like, you know what? I don't want to deal with this. Just yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, leave me. Yeah, yeah I want to stay no, home I, today. I, I, pay, yeah. just pay it. Yeah. I agree with you, Joe, but why I said that is because so many of the A-list artists now came from the mixtape era. So True. you saying it's an A-list thing. No, I, I agree with you. Like, Wayne and Hove lived in the mixtape era. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say Hove, really, but... He he went through the clue shit. I'm sure you could find some Jay-Z shit in the same capacity where he didn't profit and rapped on a sample that was Wayne, not paid for. Wayne and Hove were Wayne and Hove doing mixtapes. Mm-hmm. It's not that they lived in the mixtape yeah. era. They were themselves already, and they were doing mixtapes. Even Mac Miller went on. Um, that was Mac Miller they Laura Finesse suit, right? Yep. Yeah, with yeah. Laura Finesse, yeah. Even when that happened, Mac Miller was kind of kind of Mac Miller. Well, the reason why it happened was because he had a 20 million play, exactly. whatever the fuck it was, some exactly. astronomical amount of, Laura, of plays. Laura Finesse phone was ringing all morning. <laughs> Yo, you, you know, know what I'm saying? And rest in peace if, to if, Mac. Rest Mac, in peace Mac. to Mac. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. But no, we're... I'm saying that these people are A-list now and you could go back through their whole catalog and find something to sue them over once you see that Nikki is settled. Oh, f- oh, they're settling the A-list artists? Yeah, let me go back in Hove's Clue catalog. Let me go through Wayne's entire catalog mm-hmm. is what I'm saying. I'm it. not talking about the, the, the rapper that sold his mixtape on the Ave and was rapping over beats. I'm talking about A-list artists. This is big. It is big. Maybe I'm overthinking no, it, but I think it it's huge. Big. It is big. I think that settlement is not necessarily big. Yo, you big. know the funny part? You kind of damn near, no, let me not exaggerate, but I feel this way. You damn near have to be an A-list artist to sample. <laughs> or a, at this point, to have yeah. the budget to sample, to fucking have the, like, mm-hmm. the lesser known dudes, the label tell you from the rip, yo, nah, no, no, we're not clearing that. <laughs> yeah. When you hear the big time artist tell me, yeah, sometimes it takes time for the sample clearance to come back. <laughs> I mean, for us to get the rights and blah, blah. and for the, for the albums, they got 40 songs. Imagine the paperwork on that with all of that. No, some of us don't have to worry about all that. Right. Yo, put it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Twitter permanently suspends President Donald Trump. Was that permanent? Or is this just announced that it's permanent? Just announced. Oh, wow. Permanent. What the fuck is the point of this? After close review of recent... Well, I do get the point of it. Yeah. Let me be clear. I understand the point of it. After close like review... Like saying, saying, for instance, that, oh, man, it's only two weeks left. What could he still do? It's like, irresponsible. Two days ago, he, he just did something. He can do a lot. He can do a lot. I don't want to yeah. be that irresponsible. That's kind of a knee-jerk reaction. Yeah, I get it. Um, after close review of recent tweets from the real blah, blah, blah account and the context around them, we have permanently suspended the account due to the risk of further incitement of violence. Twitter's official safety account tweeted. I didn't even know they had an official safety account, but that's important. some tweets uh, from that account. People were retweeting it. The president's account was initially banned for 12 hours, January 6th, due to severe violations of our civic integrity policy. After you use the platform to fucking send terrorists to the Capitol and fuck shit up for a whole day. And I still have to pay taxes for that day. We should prorate taxes. Like, there should be some days where we should skip. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, remember that day? <laughs> I need that back. Like in the hotel, I just stayed at Miami. Like, I have to, why? They didn't let the movies work in the bedroom? Like the TV wasn't compatible. Oh. <laughs> you said the TVs didn't work in the bedroom. No, the, mo- the whatever TV they had in the bedroom, their movie system wouldn't play with that. 
Mm. Like, you know how they like, it's, it's condos, so the nigga mm. own it. So if mm. a nigga put an old TV in there and it don't play, mm. oh, don't give a black person a movie that don't play. <laughs> and it's something you got to pay for. Oh, I called that front. You I called prorated? The, yeah, oh, yeah, I called the concierge. <laughs> I called the concierge immediately. That's um, true. And contacted the contact I, I appreciate this move from Twitter. Me let, me, let me let me be, make myself clear. Thank you. I wish this would have happened sooner, but I do understand y'all even implemented the fact checker thing. Like, people have been laying low waiting on Trump. Like, the day, we've been waiting for this day. Mm-hmm. I think Instagram banned him as well. Facebook. Well, the same company. Why yeah. do they think Trump <laughs> Trump don't have a fake account somewhere? Yeah. And Trump will tell you who it is on his fake account. Yo, it's Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they banned my I think, other- I think Reddit did, too. You know what you got to do to get banned from Reddit? <laughs> 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 Thanks. That's, a, that's a great point. Yeah. That's a great point. Shout out to Reddit, subreddit. Everybody hates us over there. Shout out to everybody hates us everywhere, man. And I, I, I fuck a Reddit, man. Me too. Oh, they hate too. Me too. It's you have to. They're great. You yeah. have to. They're really good. At, at my age, hate the hate is great to read some hate. Yeah, it is. If some it's, of it, if it's so, creative, some of it is creative. Hate, yes, yeah, exactly. Day. Some of it is creative hate, and I'm most boy, of it isn't true. So, boy, am I angry that we ever played dude this this us twelve? I blocked him last week. <laughs> Enough of you now. You can't give a nigga an inch and take him out. I just told yeah. you. Just by, spoke by about the way, it you, is so you just true. mentioning it, there'll, there'll be 15 more disses yeah, by the morning. Sure. Yeah, that book was good for him. Go ahead and have a blast. Yeah, I going. just don't want to see it. Like, don't at me. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm I stopped listening after three, I think. See, but that's why you can't even laugh with stranger niggas dissing you because then yeah. they just take like, Oh, you con- thought that was funny? Well, I got another yeah, one. Yeah, right. like, Man. no, you fucking loser. The, the first Calm four down. was cool. All right. Um, that's, what Drake, that's what Drake was trying to tell you. Your point, points are made. <laughs> Fam, I, I read the DM he sent you. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> that is what he said. <laughs> and you asked me to see it. Uh, <laughs> Joel, show me the Drake DMs. <laughs> that's, that's nasty. Let me see oh, it. Look at the lie. Look at the lie. Uh, uh, fuck it was, oh, look. Fuck it was, look, look what happens when Joe hits back. That's nasty. That's disgusting. So what did he say? Uh, <laughs> Let me see. That's nasty. Let me see your here's, phone. Come that's, on. Here's the that's difference. Disgusting. I, hit, I hit with truth. You hit with lies. That motherfuckers <laughs> run around that Edgewater kitchen like, oh my God, he DM me. Look. <laughs> Let me just say to y'all. That those three pieces of work Joe believes should be in the Smithsonian. <laughs> the DMs? Uh, wh- <laughs> <laughs> we can leave now, right? What, what's, the time? What's, what's the time up here? It's good. Yeah, Look, that's a nice little time yeah, right nice, there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right on the dot. That's the time we said we wanted to leave anyway. Yo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. more be ready to boogie. Yeah. I mean, listen, what else we talking about? We could talk about nah, some Look, something breaking right now. Look. Well, they banned, they banned Donald, so I mean. <laughs> look, they banned the Don. Yeah, they banned the Don, man. What was let me see. Doing? Let me just, uh, Savon, is there anything breaking happening right now? Are the evil whites chilling? Are they fucking looting again? No, nah, they quiet Look, what they, they, look quiet. what they loot. Yeah, yeah, they quiet. Look what they steal. Shit, they stole already. Yeah. <laughs> they trying to steal what they stole? Idiots. Oh, shit. I remember we took this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the evil whites are not doing anything bad right this second. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Little do you know. Yeah, no, they're always doing something bad. <laughs> All right, real quick, before we get out of here, man, been watching my necks. How, how they looking? Did you see the last game? Yeah. Oh, then say it with me. River Sanity. <laughs> uh oh. River Sanity. Uh oh. I don't think that's going to catch on. Uh oh. Huh? They could drown in that river. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Help me out, Core. Give me you got, something. You got sleepers? Uh, <laughs> listen, 13 points in the final four minutes. Doc's kid that yeah. more hated. I didn't hate him. Early on, yeah. Come on. You said, why is he in the league? Yeah. You said, why is he in the league? You no, said, but I also said... You said he was after trash that, no, said at Duke. He's he only there for his though. dad. No, he did. Yeah, that's what I said. Maybe after he that. just didn't really feel him uh, it was like in a, L.A. It was like a second year thing. He struggled. He looks great in New York, though. No, he, look, he, he looks really good. He looks good in New York. River Sanity. Mm-hmm. Now I got to work on it. We can yeah. get some going. We can get some going. Yeah, find something else. Hmm. Maybe I'll work on uh, Julius's name. See if I can get a fancy little pun or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. All right. What else is going on? What else is going on? Anything? 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 I'm cool. I'm cool. There's nothing for me to review. What happened? Huh? NFL playoffs. 
Patty Mahomes. He don't play this don't week, play this right? Weekend, no, the no. fuck you talking to me about? <laughs> He's sitting home hey, chilling? Is Patty playing? Oh, you want me to get in the hype? All oh, the Titans and the Ravens. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh. Can they stop Derrick Henry? Will Lamar Jackson finally perform? What do you want me to say? Game. Come on, give it to me. That's probably the best game of the Well, yeah, that's probably the best game of the Who else is playing? Will Tom Brady He's gonna bring He's the gonna Buccaneers to greatness? The, the football team. Or will the Redskins and Chase Young not the Redskins. be the, 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 the football fuck up. team? What do you want me to say over here? It's the the football, football team. team not the oh, yeah, Redskins. yeah, not the Redskins. Yeah. Or will the Washington team be able to kill? Like, shut up. Let me pick winners, man. The Bills beat the Colts. Yeah. The Bucks beat the Redskins. Yeah. The Saints beat the Bears. Yeah. Uh, Steelers Browns is the one I really don't know. I don't know. I got Browns. Where's this uh, game being played at? Pittsburgh. I'm taking the Steelers. Oh, taking the Steelers. <laughs> okay. Next year, I have the Browns being able to win on the road. They just learned how to win. You can't win in. Uh, I would want to see the Browns win that game, though. Me too. Yeah. Because I think th- they're gonna win that game. What's the better team? The Browns. Who well, has a better record? Pittsburgh by a hair, by one game. You don't subscribe to it all? You are what you record? They lost, no. They, lost, football, they no. beat all bad teams and R- lost to okay. they lost to the Bengals. All right, shit. next toughest game for me, Ravens-Titans. Give it to me. That one, Titans. 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 Really? Yeah. I want the Ravens to win, but I'm going me too. to. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I think I the like Titans will win. I like Lamar Jackson man. too much. Titans is tough, and you're not stopping that, man. <laughs> yeah. And Lamar Jackson was my first pick, so get out of here. Yeah. My first pick in fantasy, so sorry. Yeah. Even though he's come alive in recent weeks. Uh, I got the Seahawks over the Rams. Yeah, me too. Don't yeah. know don't know why DK Metcalf was still on the board when the Seahawks picked, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean he spent the whole pre pre or pre draft workouts and before the draft just showing us his chiseled body and somehow bench pressing cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he bench pressed a car and somehow he was there at thirty two. Like what <laughs> what the fuck Put that hey, car down. <laughs> what didn't what didn't they believe? <laughs> Put I don't the get car it. down, man. I don't understand what they didn't see. Um yeah, so those are my picks. Those are my wild card picks. Um, I ain't even going to talk about no basketball because every nigga I talk about, the, the bad, the nigga guard didn't hit a game winner. Yeah. <laughs> so the man Zach the other night? Went crazy. Yeah. Went crazy. Dame went crazy the next night, though. He had 39. Well, Dame is Dame, but I mean, game winner on Zach. You try to shit on Zach. <laughs> game winner on you. You know what okay. I'm and, and that's fucked up. I want to apologize to Zach. Because Zach, I like Zach. No, I, like, I don't that. know why I, I was I like talking him. about him like I don't like him. I do like Zach. I like his game a lot. I just be joking around. I hope that uh, these niggas be too busy to ever hear my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. Because you know where I bumped into Zach? When, was you with me at uh, the Dwayne, that what, D-Wade uh, Spade party? You was, no. right? No? Mm-mm. Who was I with? Mm. Why you ain't coming? You phony. No. <laughs> you was with me, right? He was there. What the fuck is he talking about? I wasn't there. No, I wasn't there, bro. All right, well, either way, <laughs> you should have been there. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying Zach Levine was there and he was really cool. Well, I saw him somewhere. He was really cool. Aaron Gordon was there. He was really cool. Like, it's just some dudes that you want to, like... A lot of these guys are cool. some dudes man. that you want to hate, because I don't hate A lot of these guys. guys are young, so they, they, they cool. Yeah, they're awesome, nature. man. Yeah, they're cool. They're awesome, man. I have an issue with J.R. Smith not having a job right now, but... He might get picked up. Somebody might want him. I just have an issue with that. I maybe don't he even should, have a He should him. be on the roster right now, though. I think Absolutely. so. I look at some of these rosters, and J.R., he definitely has a spot. Yeah, no, I think so, too. I don't have anything else that I... Damn, man, this is the second week in a row that I wanted to get into that shit that I... The story I read last week about the black IPs. Oh, fuck. And I'm not. But that story was so fascinating to me. I never would have imagined that Will I Am has... Would have an issue with the black IPs place in history. Like, that they're not considered for greatest rap groups of all time or considered a rap group at all. They're one of the most successful rap groups of all time, no question. But then there was an interview from apparently the original woman that was in the Black Eyed Peas, which to my belief was a black woman. I didn't know there was another woman in Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, right? When? And that's the issue. No, there was not a woman in the... Well, maybe the... She did... uh, She's doing interviews. Before they did albums, maybe. So? (laughs) No doubt. Cool. (laughs) That's all I'm saying. But they put out several several records, like when they were still like an independent underground kind of group... I think it was just the three dudes. I'm not, to, not I, to discredit I, I, her or anything. I just never knew that there was a, a woman in the group. Let me see this headline just so I can be clear what it says. <laughs> Will I am says it hurts that black eyed peas aren't considered a black group. 
A lot of the things that we create and we invent, we dispose of or get stolen from us to the point where it's no uh, association to its origins, he said. This is confusing to me. That's true. Mm -hmm. But are the black eyed, should the black eyed peas be considered a black group? (laughs) Um, well, that's tricky because, uh, Fergie is a part of black eyed peas, correct? She was yes. later after like she, the first she, couple albums. She was placed by Jimmy Iovine. Okay. Mm. Just adding context to the history. Black Eyed Peas was a group. Well, uh, well a very talented group. And then Jimmy Iovine well, said, well, "You need a white girl." See, look, this is in two thousand. Hill, who was replaced with Fergie after the group's second album, two thousands, bridging the gap has responded to Will. For you to make that statement as if uh, as if the onus is on the black community to celebrate you and the band when you didn't celebrate us, it's almost like there's this culture, uh, cultural smudging, Hill said in an Instagram video. Hill's 10-year-old son, uh, Cassius, added, you're not in those black roots anymore. So I don't want to read, I don't want to get children involved in this. Um, this is really interesting to mm-hmm. me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Will I Will I Am would have to speak to a lot of this stuff. Yeah, Will I Am produced a lot of these this music. Mm-hmm. He's responsible for a lot of the music, mm-hmm. and he's a black man. I'm trying to under I'm trying to get maybe where his angle. He's Fergie, the only one I want to hear from. But that was his group. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. I don't want to offend any of the other members, but that was his group. So maybe I could understand him feeling him feeling this way and maybe that puts a different scope on it for me because yeah they didn't make music that i identify as black music but if a black man is making this music it's tough this is this is nuanced He's saying, and when you think of the black eyed peas, you don't think of it's no longer urban or black culture which is it's not good for the black community that Black Eyed Peas is not looked at as a black group because we've had international success. That should be credited to the black community more so than letting it be adopted. I can't roll with him on that. Yeah, that's... I can't roll with him on that. I get the the premise of, yes, their success maybe started with the black community. Uh, For me, the NBA broke the Black Eyed Peas. For me. Okay. With uh, what was that song? It don't matter because it was a bunch of songs. Yeah, they, they did they a bunch a of songs lot of with the records. NBA. Yeah. Uh, but I can't, I can't, I can't get jiggy with that. I, I can't. Yeah, it's, tr- it's, it's a not very enough. Tricky, yeah, yeah. Like, don't tell me about how black people should feel, and then your first argument is what's happening internationally. Yeah, y'all sold a lot of records, and y'all focus was international. Never did I feel like Black Eyed Peas focus was me. Mm. I just happened to like that music. Right. And I happened to like Will I Am. He was a phenomenal producer and he was very expensive and I couldn't afford him in my budget. But <laughs> I didn't think that that was black music and I wasn't I wasn't necessarily hip to the story of uh the uh the young black lady that they kicked out the group. Kim Hill. Like you can't kick a black queen out the group and then say, "Hey, y'all not fucking with us." Again, I I don't rem- I just looked at the credits and she seemed to be featured on a lot of songs and written a lot of songs, but she was never on the cover. I don't know if she was considered part of the group and that's, not, again, not my business. You've been I don't in America know. long enough to know how that goes. You've been out here long okay, enough. Okay, but, you, but you even seen, what, with... What was that? The Five Heartbeats? <laughs> you seen the Five Heartbeats first single? Uh, yeah. Our work, today first single? What's the difference? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Five Heartbeats wanted to know why the white boys was on <laughs> their artwork. <laughs> it wasn't them at all. Like, yo, this is, who is this? Right. Hey, just got to go to radio. But, that The game been the game. Right. Like, why are we but acting you, like you, it might be a different reason now? And why are we acting like Will I Am may, may or may not have been playing ball with Jimmy Iovine and Interscope? They were only the one of the biggest groups on Interscope back then. Like, what are we talking about right now? Well, no, of, of course he played ball with Jimmy Iovine. He allowed Fergie to be in his group off Jimmy Iovine saying you need a white girl. That's been well documented. This isn't some secret. Right. But to say that Black Eyed Peas is not black music, if you go to the roots of what it derived from. Like, I feel like a lot of their shit, their poppy shit, international shit, derives from Chicago house music, which is black people. I'm only, yeah. So, I'm only, <laughs> I, but I'm only talking about all black music is black music. I mean, all music is black music to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but I'm talking about how they're received 
from the black sure. people in music, I well, guess. They mostly made pop music at the the superstardom point of their mm-hmm. career, mm-hmm. which is white people music, for lack of a better term. And then they took the white girl and gave her a solo career. Right. And then well, we that, never, I'm and then sure we that never was Jimmy heard, Iovine's plan. That's my point. I all mean, along. we never heard from Black Eyed. <laughs> that's always his plan. He did it with her. He did it with a pussycat doll girl. He, he does that. That's his thing. Hey, Jimmy, we don't want to beef. Yeah. Um, but that's his thing. <laughs> yeah. I just think He's it's pussy, fucked up. But I do remember uh, Black, Black Eyed. I don't want beef with Jimmy Iovine. Yeah, I'm fucking with you. I mean, I don't want beef with Jimmy Iovine. <laughs> I do. I do remember them being on uh, Rap City though. I remember when they were underground, they made like yeah. Black Star type of music. They mm-hmm. came after that, that raucous kind of inspired wave yeah, and made exactly. similar music. They're, exactly. And then like their, three or four their albums first, Their in. first hit was redone by, I think they put Justin Timberlake on the hook way before Fergie even came in to play, which was a very yeah, their first hit was underground, and jams, di- which was dilated super... people's type music. Yeah. See, this is like the white people selfie to me, this conversation. Like, and I hate to use this as an example. It, it also takes me back to, I use this all the time, when fucking... Uh, Wale used to call me way, way back and just talk about his how he's received by lyricists. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And as a lyricist, I used to be like, fam, give me the hits then. Let's trade. Hmm. I'll take your hits. <laughs> you could take my lyricism and right. then let's see how it goes. Right. So, I mean, you, they kick the black girl out of the group or they are complicit in the black girl leaving the group. Mm-hmm. They make a whole bunch of pop songs. The lead white girl leaves the group they don't see the same success, and then we come back years later and say, "I don't really like how we were received by the black community." But no. will I am will no. I am saw success solo? No. Will I, I am Will I am was always too rich to fail, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't remember if he, he did, did, he did he didn't solo care. albums, but the Black Eyed Peas albums, he produced all of them and rapped on all of them. So he, he's too rich. It didn't. It didn't matter. Yeah. Like by the time it was over, Will I am was fine. Yeah. <laughs> but even that's even why. Though, but that's why I don't like this. Even I like Will him. I am came in as a backpacker. Will I am was, from what I understand, was like a dancer. So I can see him wanting to do pop music outside of Jimmy Iovine saying, "Hey, here's this white girl to make you poppy." Like I, Will I am as a producer and a dancer, I can understand him wanting to make up tempo, pop esque records. Even though he was a backpacker at heart, I think Kanye West did it very similar, just without the planted white girl. <laughs> yeah, I mean. If you want to call Kim that, but I don't yeah, want to, I don't, I, want, to I don't want to just throw Will I Am in that category, knowing his actual musical genius and intention in the music that he was making. That's certainly not what I'm attempting to do either. But mm-hmm. I I don't know, man. I'm only I'm just talking about how he was received. And I wish that were better communicated from him. I, I would have liked to hear more from him on that. And I'm I'm also shutting the fuck up about about black shit. Don't well, not, mind not me. How we just talk. But why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not how he was received, but why he was received that way. But either way, shout out to Will I Am, um, whole black IP. Shout out to Fergie. Uh, shout out. What's the young lady's name? Kim. Kim, Kim Hill. Kim, Kim Hill. Hill. Kim, Kim Hill. Hill. Kim Hill. Yeah, she uh, was dope. And with that said, that's that's all we have for the day. Uh, t- Wednesday when we when we come back. I'd like to delve into some of the wackier rumors that I heard this week. Okay. You got a list? <laughs> it's short. Oh. <laughs> it's short. The wacky list is short? Yeah, it is pretty short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't come in laughing. No, nah, we can Of yeah. doom? Well, we're laughing because you broke the couch. I, but I... <laughs> you it's did. not even nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's on film. <sighs> I'm sorry, was, I, I think I can fix it, though. No, we're not living like that in 2021. Okay. No, fix it and give it away, nigga. We're going to buy a couch. Oh. <laughs> I'm so mad. The couch, I, the couch I wanted, it ain't there no more, I bet. This mm. fucking dick. He got some nerve. He got some no, you nerve. Gotta, you got to keep that couch. You got for the some JDP fucking nerve, Pop-up actually. Now that, oh, you're not recording? Oh, no, you're recording. You. All right, good. You got some fucking nerve. <laughs> you know Park's got a lot of fucking nerve, right? Oh, what happened? I should wait till Saturday. That's a nice Saturday one. Fire his ass up real good. <laughs> this is Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Got a point. <laughs> Fuck is Joe talking about? I meant a different. Oh, next Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Uh, next Saturday. Saturday. Oh, That's gonna be too long. I'm gonna forget. Yeah. Man. I'm gonna forget yeah. about yeah, it. Now you know why I hate Parks. All right, y'all talk to each other. Let me find this fucking song. Why do you hate Parks? Because you broke, I hate you broke you the niggas. couch. I hate you, nigga. You I broke the couch and you you told Parks you wanted a new couch. Is and that why he talked you out of it? I hate Parks. <laughs> why does he hate you, Parks? I don't know. 
I'm not sure where he's going with this. Maul. Yes. Mm. Mm, look, look, already it's a hum. <laughs> all, I, all I said was Maul. Mm. Mm. No, you remember something now. No, I remember, yeah. Bitch. <laughs> I'm still gonna move. But Parks don't know. I don't even care about the move. The move nah. is not it. Like that's your that's your life, that's your business. I don't yeah. care about that. Well, I do care about it. That's not important. Yeah. Fucking uh No, the more important part, Parks don't know because he's a New Yorker. He don't really know. But when we were talking about kind of just doing some things differently as far as look, I was like, yo, we should run down the uh restoration hardware outlet. He didn't know what that said. He didn't know the magnitude of that statement. Mm-hmm. He didn't know what it meant. I did. You just went and didn't call me and text me to come meet you there. I love restoration hardware stuff. Mm-hmm. Even him saying that. You didn't know the magnitude of restoration hardware outlet at the time because you Ooh. said what's that's that true. yeah I didn't know about the outlet you put me under that that's what I'm saying yeah so the outlet is a different ball game it's like home goods mm-hmm. you catch it if you catch it yeah. if it's gone it's gone it'll right. never be there again mm-hmm. like it's just every season every day new shit and right. them white people with money they're going and they're taking it when we was talking about changing the aesthetic I mentioned that I said yo I'm gonna head out there tomorrow look around as God would have it I went in there the next day it was couch heaven. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was couch galore. I had never seen that many couches in Restoration Hardware Outlet. Mm-hmm. Corey was with me. And sure enough, fuck you, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, yeah, we nigga Rory banged it on us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Corey was with me. We go in there. I FaceTime Parks immediately. Show him all the couches. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking that he would get just as ex- just as excited. All right, let's answer him first. <laughs> Got it. Oh, I'm thinking that he would get just as excited at the selection of couches. Mm-hmm. He said, "Yo, change of plans. I'm not. Yo, we don't need him." <laughs> he says, "Yo, change of plans. I'm not gonna move like that." Cool. Right. Corey, how many beautiful couches was in there that day? Like at prices that craziness. Mm-hmm. Twenty five hundred. Mm-hmm. 1500 all black suede fucking gold legs like whatever what you want to do in here right. it was in there I'm not gonna do it Spark says we don't do it right but should we have done it <laughs> yes should he have paid me more attention than yo I'm not moving let's just don't worry about it mm-hmm. honestly yeah I agree give me something come on when I when I find the new one I'm going in because <laughs> fuck you finding the new one I found <laughs> 17 new ones <laughs> Look, and was going to pay for it and now I got to deal with this yeah. <laughs> Look, ghetto and shit fault. best <laughs> podcast in the world mm-hmm. number one podcast top broadcast in like 177 countries <laughs> 200, 200 continents Broke they're listening from all over the world Broke couch. they pressing me about the art behind me now yo yeah. Joe yeah. <laughs> yo, see what happens when you blow up yeah they pressing me, yo. You really went all that back there, nigga. No, yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> the, the fuck. No, this, I, don't I don't believe in the devil, bitch. You gotta believe. Shout in the out devil. to Brian too, nigga. Stop shitting on Brian's shit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. They love it too. We gonna fix this couch up. Yeah. Listen, man. I'm here to talk to him in 2021. Yeah. Seems like it's gonna be a lot to talk about. We starting off this year with a. Uh, a familiar energy. That's it, all I'll listen, say. Listen, if it ain't nothing to talk about, it's going to be something to talk about. I'm taking advantage of every God-given second of breath. As you should. Mm-hmm. That I have on this earth. And if my job is to talk and, and relay information to the people that's going to do something with it after I am no longer here and present. Let's do it. Then, but, nigga, yeah. Let's do yes, it. sir. Shout out to y'all. Yo, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until next time, I bid you adieu. Hasta la vista. Arrivederci. Adios. So long. Goodbye. Peace. 100 deuces. What you doing tomorrow? Your Uber is outside. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shit's taking a man of nine minutes. <laughs> yeah, that'd be the longest nine. Yeah. He turned. Why he turned there? Yeah. You be looking like, why he made that left? Could have just kept coming straight down the block. <laughs> <laughs> that, should be, that should be long. They always the take the long way. Always. Always. And she would hit you. What is say now? Bitch, you stuck there. It's still nine minutes. Yeah. You've been here for ten of them. Uber pool, you out of here. Oh, <laughs> uh, with that being said, again, happy new year. Shout out to the creators. Shout out to uh, 
First and last time listeners, man. Now nah, turn this jam up, though. Turn this jam up, man. Some of y'all don't know about a good jam session. Yo, 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 white people are so great. I was playing this song. Look, oh, come on. They bugging right now. I was playing this song when Ian came over. <laughs> Ian came over the crib. I had this on blast on the bowls. Ian started bobbing his little Jewish head. He said, he says, yo, why doesn't music sound like this anymore? <laughs> I said, yo, Ian, back in the 70s, that was real musicians and real like instruments. Yeah, so it was yeah. just a big jam session. So listen, they just let this rock for eight, nine minutes. He says, yeah, but you would think with the technology and the different things that we have today, why can't it sound like that? Said nigga, you. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one. Ah! Wait a minute. I'm going, man. I'm going to watch Julius do Julius things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they know what I'm going to do. What you doing, Savon, huh? You know what I mean? Oh, going man. to chill, going to lamp a little bit. It's a beautiful year. My baby moms was nice to me this week. Hey, it's a beautiful year because my baby mom was nice this week. Hey. <laughs> Starting off the year right. Don't do that, mom. <laughs> uh, we talked for a little bit yeah, on the yeah. pickup. Hey, <laughs> that's funny. I said, "Happy New Year." Where you was at? Everywhere. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's our gut punch. <laughs> Hey, we jamming now. <laughs> we rocking now. What's up, baby? <laughs> hey, everywhere. Oh, oh that, that, yo, that everywhere. Yo, yo that don't, hurts. don't look that at me hurts. like that. No. That everywhere is like oh, everywhere. Why, why, everywhere. Why? Why it hurt? Why though? you <laughs> Damn, man. Why you everywhere? Yeah, sit your ass down. That's when it turned into. Why they can't sit the man? Nah. man. nah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you try to divert it. You see, you hear our baby counting now. <laughs> hey, he getting the twenty here. <laughs> Yo, we out of here, man. Y'all hold it down. I hope y'all enjoyed this. We here to talk to him in twenty twenty one. Rest in peace, hey body. We lost Tommy Lasota, the goat, the legend. You know the vibes. And rest in peace, uh, rest in peace, Stuart Scott. Just because you've been on my mind, Stuart Scott. Yeah, the man. The man. No, 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 no,